Howdy! First stream of the New Year's. How's it going? Ericanator. Uh, Nightmare in second chapter is gonna be really rough. I've heard that. I've I actually my brother um. <laughs> He played uh, the entirety of like the first chapter on Nightmare Mode as well, and he said that he like switched the game to I think hard for second chapter because he was like, I'm just not gonna deal with the uh, the beginning of second chapter on Nightmare. But I'm like, I just I just can't do it. If the game gives me ability to play a harder the hardest difficulty at the very beginning of the game, I have to do that difficulty. So we might get stuck for you know 20 hours <laughs> or something weird like that but I'll, I'll hit my head against a brick wall before i give up dying a lot sucks oh oh if i died against the final boss oh that would have sucked i i don't know how i didn't die once against the final boss actually maybe it's because chloe chloe was my savior all right let's make sure that we have all of our settings correct i did check this before we started but i want to make absolutely sure does everything sound good with, like, the game volume and my voice? Hopefully it does. Chloe carried, it's true, she did. Chloe did. I'm happy I, I, I went with Chloe at the end. I'm very happy I went with Chloe at the end. Dang, I'm so excited today. Oh, okay. Uh, status visible, fixed north, 45 degree. I, I'm, I'm fine with... Retry offset off. See, this is this is very important. You don't want this on. Uh, change frame rate automatic, transparency off, background music, every I want all my music on. Okay, cool. I think we just start, and hopefully... I think I heard that some stuff transfers over from the first game to this one. So I'm just hoping that, um... Oh, I gotta, I, I, I gotta read the little descriptions for each difficulty. But I'm just hoping that my save file will transfer over somewhat. I don't know what exactly transfers over. I'm sure everything doesn't. I, maybe it's just like your bracer points or something transfers over. I don't know. Okay, so there's easy, a gentle balance for easy progression for beginners, not me. Average difficulty for those wanting a little challenge, not me. Difficulty, a difficult setting for those who find normal a bit lacking, not me. It's your funeral, may ADOs be with you. <laughs> just some minor stuff? Oh, okay. Wait, is that Chloe right there? Is that a different outfit? What is... What is she wearing? Yeah, Chloe's up by the now loading. Oh my gosh! Isn't that her 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 school outfit? Do we actually get her school outfit? That'd be so cool. I was saying I really wanted that. Trolls in the sky, save data found. Load data. D data must be saved after the last boss. Uh, yes. Trolls in the sky, load data. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I do want to load data. How did it find my Trolls in the Sky save data? How did it do this? I am confused. How did they do this? Uh, let's load the very last one, I guess. I'm happy I didn't, like, delete the game. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I'm so happy. I've been looking forward to this, for real. Now that the holidays are over. Getting right back to it. Mm -mm. So bright. Oh. Uh, Josh, it's going to be weird. Josh was gone, isn't he? Ah, uh, that felt good. I haven't slept like that since. What? Oh, right. We stayed in the castle last night. Josh and I were out enjoying the celebrations, then we had some ice cream on the way home, then we all went to the dinner party, and then... Oh, this is literally the next day. N no He probably put her in the bed, too. This is literally the next day. It starts, like, right off from, from where you were. There's, like, no time skip or nothing. This is... This is Joshua's room. But I was staying in the same room as Shira. Was... Was all that a dream? What? Joshua? Oh my gosh. Aha, good morning, sleepyhead. You took her a sweet time waking up. Shira doesn't even know. 
Shashira, really warn me the next time you aren't going to come back for the evening. I was getting a bit worried. Oh my god, Sherazard probably thinks they did something naughty. Although, it looks <laughs> to me like you and Joshua managed to talk about quite a bit. Shira, where's Joshua? What? Where's... I'm looking for Joshua. Shira, have you seen him? This is important. I haven't seen him yet this morning, no. But weren't you tired yesterday and stayed over in his room? He wasn't there when you woke up. Oh, what? I, I, what? Who did you hear that from? Um, from Cassius. But why does that... From Dad? Uh, okay, where's Dad then? Well, last time I saw, he was heading up toward the Garden Terrace, but now what? The Garden Terrace. Okay, thanks, bye. Oh, wait, Estelle. Wait a... What on earth has gotten into her? Oh, oh, goddess, the lovers reversed. All oh, right, because she, she she can read like tarot cards and stuff, right? Is that what it is? Wait, let me see. Oh, whoa! What's going on here? The uh, menu looks all different. Can I change how this looks? Oh, this is weird. Practice weapon. She's level thirty-seven. I think I was level thirty-seven, so she is level the level I. Left her. Did I have 2000 HP on her though? I don't remember her having that much HP. Yeah, I have all the same abilities, it looks like, that I had before. I have. I don't remember her having 2000 health, but maybe maybe she did. Um, All my equipment's gone though. Yeah, the only thing I keep is the. Liberal Kingdom. I wish I kept my Bracer Badge. I didn't even keep the Bracer Badge. That's kind of whack. Okay. It's time to start the save files, though. So, I didn't keep anything, it looks like. Um, Garden Terrace, right? Is where they said? I mean, where's the Garden Terrace? Is this up here? I don't remember. I don't know where the Garden Terrace is. Okay, it was where Joshua was. The Joshua still is still. I guess he did. He made off like a bandit. Estelle. Oh, he's in the military uniform, isn't he? The dad. We we have a problem. I know. Joshua is gone. Because Cassius always knew everything about Joshua because Joshua was assigned to assassinate him, right? What? How do you know about that? The music is. The music leveled up! Yo! I thought the first chapter music was good, but this is just as different. This just hits different. After getting back from the meeting last night, I found you asleep in one of our beds. You left a note on the nightstand as well. Between the two, I have a fairly good idea of what must have happened. Then... Then... What the heck are you just standing around here for? We need to find Joshua fast before... Stop, Estelle. What? If he has truly gone to ground, even I have little hope of actually finding him. His skills are almost superhuman. When we fought five years ago, I was nearly killed by an 11-year-old. Okay. Only asked this once before a long time ago, but... Who? Who is Joshua exactly? Why did you bring him into our home? The Society of Ouroboros. Your answer begins there. With an organizational organization few even know exists. They are an organization that seeks to manipulate the world from the shadows, led by a leader called the Grand Master. Joshua was in their employ as an assassin when I first met him. I brought him home because it was his only chance to live free of them. Or Boris. Even the Bracer Guild knows very little about them, and only top Bracers even learn of their existence. Given that the response of the public to the idea of Ouroboros existence would be either panic or skepticism, we don't acknowledge them publicly. But they exist. There's no question of that, and they've had plans in motion for years. The recent coup is just one example of their ma machinations. Wait, you mean... Lieutenant Lawrence, he was. Yes, we have absolutely no doubt he was another senior agent from the society. Of course, we doubt he was acting as a lone wolf. He must have had support to accomplish what he did. Support like Joshua, for example. But Joshua didn't even know, because he was, you know, mind-wiped. Wait, what? What the heck do you mean? He stated as much in his note. Over the past five years, Joshua has been passing along guild secrets to Ouroboros. He claims that he was under the influence of some sort of mental control and didn't even realize what he was doing himself. No. 
No. No, he wouldn't. Ouroboros' cunning is matched only by their malevolence. Stay away from them, Estelle. They're far too dangerous. Okay. I don't quite get all of this, but I just want to make sure. Make sure I'm hearing this right. You're saying we should abandon Joshua. Well, Dad, answer the question. Oh, gosh. I always knew this day would come. Even five years ago, when I took him in, I knew we would someday reach this moment. He swore something to me. The first... That first day, he actually accepted he could be part of our home. What did he? The moment he became a burden of it or a threat to us, the moment the society contacted him or pursued him in any fashion, he would disappear from our lives, like a shadow dispelled by the sun, he told me once. What? What's that supposed to? Estelle, I understand how you feel. He was part of our family. It isn't easy to just say goodbye so suddenly. There are some lines which a man can never bring himself to cross. Ever. So please, try to understand what Josh... You knew. Hmm? You knew that Joshua might leave us someday. Never said anything to me, or did anything about it. You knew, and you didn't. Dude, Estelle's not gonna let Joshua go. Ah, uh, Cassius is like... Estelle's a little too naive just to let Joshua go. I'm sorry, Estelle. I hate you. Yeah, there's no way. Cassius. Shira. I'm sorry you had to see that. No, it's... Why do I get the feeling you're biting back a lecture? I stumbled into your life from a disaster of my own. You saved me, just as you did Joshua. I understand what both you and Joshua must be thinking. Indeed. If I may make a single comment, though, from a woman's perspective. Of course. <laughs> His eyes! His eyes opened up. At this point, you and Joshua are essentially the two most wretchedly miserable sons of dogs I have ever had the displeasure of knowing. Oh, shit. Oh, she was hard. No, just no way. Joshua wouldn't, wouldn't run away. Whoa, you okay, miss? What are you doing out without an umbrella? What is he doing out without an umbrella? You'll get soaked if you remain out in this mess. You should head on home. 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 Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I should head home. Joshua must have headed home. He... Dude, she's having a mental breakdown right now. He probably went right back home. Huh? Thanks, Mr. Guard. I'll head home right away. She's gonna run all the way to Roland. What was that all about? I swear I've seen her somewhere before. Wait, isn't that the girl who helped stop the coup? are walking on this drama. Charles in the Sky, second chapter. I'm really enjoying the music so far. I feel like the music's on a whole another level. My Estelle, you shine like the sun. My time with you was the happiest and the most painful I've ever known. Just as the brightest light casts the darkest shadow... If you stayed with me, you would find out just how disgusting my true nature is. Sometimes I think it would have been better if we'd never met. Yo, Joshua's like a poet, but I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like it if like Joshua's like this dark, sinister person now. I hurt Joshua. He wishes he'd never met me. He said, he said that. I, I, no, no, no. Who's this? Oh, this is one of the people that was on the new box art. Dude, did you, did, did you guys like my, um, my, uh, thumbnail? I, I, I worked hard on that new thumbnail. I was like, oh, I, 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 I need to switch up the thumbnail now for the second chapter. But I really like the box art for this game. It looks really nice. But this was like the only guy I didn't notice on it, like, or didn't recognize on it. Insensitive jerk. Oh, pff, that's his name. Okay. Come on now. Look at this clear blue sky. Feel the gentle kiss of the wind on your cheek. A lovely girl like you ain't allowed to be sad on a gorgeous day like this. It's sad in Adios too, you know. Um, hey, wait a sec. I'm not dangerous. Well, okay. Maybe I came across as, uh, anyway, you just caught my eye the moment you came aboard. You see? 
seemed a little broke up over something. So I thought to myself, hey, I'll put a smile on her face with my overpowering charm. Um, I don't quite get what you mean, but thanks, I guess. To be honest, this is what we usually call a putting the moves on. So how about it? Want to head down to the lower observation deck? You can get drinks down there, too. I'd be happy to treat a new friend. What do you say? <laughs> Dude, this guy's totally trying to hit on Estelle. Well, um, I appreciate the offer, but I'm not, not really in the mood. I'm sorry, can you just... Hmm, I think I see how it is. All right, then, time to knock it off with this come-ons and put on the work face, eh? After all, it's my job to guide lost lambs like you. Your job? <laughs> Darn right, look at this. The previously insensitive jerk held forth medallion with the chalice engraved in the center. Uh, that... Isn't that the seal of the Septian Church? So he works with the church? Bingo, this is the Grell emblem. Let me introduce myself properly. I'm Kevin Graham. Looks and, uh, moves aside. I really am a priest of the Septian Church. Okay, he's, he's really forward for being a priest. Uh, wow, wait, for real, is this another joke? Ah, uh, why? Do you have to doubt me still? I'm a serious, devoted priest, you know. I never miss the tr uh, trinary prayers, and I always have my testaments right at hand. Uh, I think I left them on my seat, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that really helps your case there. Yeah, you really are kind of a weirdo, father. <laughs> Laughter, victory is mine. That's more like it. Cute girls like you deserve to smile. Anyways, if you want, I'll give you an ear in my official priestly capacity. No pickup lines, I promise. Adios, smite me dead otherwise. Well, okay. But, where do I even... I... Aw. Wait, hold on now. I don't know what I did, but I'm sorry anyway. I... It's my... 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 F -f 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 oh, she thinks it's her fault? Great goddess. Sadie there, child. You've been keeping this bottled up for ages, haven't you? My shoulder is yours. Come on. Cry it all out. I'm here. So this is Father Kevin. <laughs> oh. I'm guessing he's going to be one of the main characters, too. Or one of the, you know, the supporting characters, for sure. Like the thumbnail? Thank you. I'm Kevin, right? I'm sorry. That was pathetic of me. No big, seriously. My shoulders always got room for a girl to cry on. So how about it? Feel a bit better now? Yeah, a little. I'm Estelle. Estelle Bright. A member of the Bracer Guild. Estelle, eh? Dang, even her name is cute. Er, hang on, you said the Bracer Guild. Yeah, I'm a newly minted senior Bracer. Might be hard to believe after seeing me break down like that, though. No, not at all. Now that you mention it, you do kind of look loaded for bear. You're a martial artist of some kind? Guess you could call me that. I focus on staff combat. Though you said you were a priest, Kevin. I do appreciate the shoulder, but I gotta admit, you don't look much like any priest I know. Who <laughs> would trust, usually. Ah, kazing through the chest, madame. Well, I'll admit that us wandering priests are sheep of a different color. Wandering what now? Well, okay, you know how there's villages and farms and whatnot without churches, right? My orders head to such places at set times each year and offers church services and teaches Sunday school. Think of it as home delivery churchening or something like that. Huh? Never knew there were priests like that, but it does make a lot of sense. And unlike church-bound priests, there's a lot of us who are more carefree about dress code. The church just kind of lets us do our thing, so... Uh, well, fair enough, I guess. So, Kevin, I guess you're off to some village somewhere. Nah, not immediately. I actually only just arrived in Liberal. Like today. The high seat dispatched me here, since apparently there's not enough wandering priests around right now. Oh really? Okay then. The high seat. They mentioned that in Sunday school, but I don't remember where. It's in the holy city of Arteria, in the middle of the continent. Anyway, I figured I'd do a bit of sightseeing before I went and reported my assignment to the Bishop of Grand Hill Cathedral. I wonder if we get to... I wonder if we're going to get out of, uh... What is it? Uh, liberal in this game, or if we're just gonna like revisit a lot of the same places. And well, here I am. Um, that seems just a bit irresponsible to me. You really are kind of a half-baked priest, aren't you? 
Hey, it's cool. I'm checking out the places I'll be wandering to in advance. Besides, I got to meet a troubled and lovely young woman. This is surely a blessing from Adios. Praise be to her name. Yeah, smooth recovery there. But really, thank you either way. Letting it all out helped to clear my head a bit, I think. Seriously. I'm being a ninny. I should trust Joshua. He won't do anything stupid. Uh, who? Oh, uh, Joshua is my... B my, um brother sort of in a sense oh she can't say that no more oh stepbrother stepsis it disappeared suddenly which has been a bit of a shock disappeared huh you mean he ran away from home <laughs> no 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 he just went back home ahead of the rest of us I mean he's family he wouldn't just run off on his own I see really though what was I thinking worst mistake ever telling him how I felt especially at that moment Next time I see him, I'll have to make up uh, some kind of excuse about that. Hey, Estelle. Huh? Well. Well, like I was saying, I'm basically just a tourist without a plan or a clue right now, so... How's about I land with you and Roland and make sure you get home safely? Love tri Triangle Incoming? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like... Honestly, though, I feel like Kevin is going to be a lot more inquisitive than... Than he's kind of latting off right now. He's kind of like lighting off this like super like carefree go lucky dude attitude and like but he also just seems like he's very inquisitive and like he um can kind of like read between the lines right now and really read people so like I feel like Kevin already knows what's going on and he's more of just trying to like pep pepper up It will be interesting, though, because if this is going to be kind of like a Final Fantasy X-2 kind of situation where, like, Joshua's gone the entire game. It's going to be super interesting because the last game we had, um, you know, a duo, two, two deuteragonists or whatever. We had a protagonist being Estelle and then Joshua being the deuteragonist or whatever, but it's going to be weird if we just have Estelle in this game, so we just have one protagonist. I don't know if Kevin's going to be there as the deuteragonist or not. Uh, smell that fresh air. So this is Roland, huh? Gotta admit, though, it feels a bit like a backwater farming village with an airship dock dropped on it. Well, excuse the heck out of us for living in the boonies. At least we're big enough to have our own church. Mr. Totally pretending to be a holy man. Oh, I'd better go pay my respects over there once we're done. So, Sal, which one of these fine boonie shacks is yours? Uh, setting the booty shacks bit aside, you really don't need to escort me home, you know. Just outside town and crying fits aside. I really am a bracer. I can take care of myself. Ha. <laughs> nah, don't worry about it. It's the duty of us real manly men to make sure a lady gets home safely. Besides, I'm looking forward to meeting this boyfriend of yours. But, but boyfriend isn't the term I think I'd use, maybe. But fair enough, I guess. I'll fix you some tea or something when we get there. And I get free tea out of the deal. Victory again. Well, lead the way. Oh, so we get him. Oh, wait, no, he's going to be an escort, isn't he? Yeah, he's an, he's an escort. Okay, that's safe. Oh, we can talk to people now. Can we go back on the ship now? Oh my gosh, it's so interesting being back in Roland. Why is he like... He's like glitching out when I'm walking. Or is that just the dust effect causing his outfit to look a bit weird? The capital bound Lindy's... Arriving next. I need to keep things maintained so there's no accidents. Skip. Wait, who is this guy's name? Was it... Yeah, it was Alan. That's right. He's, he's the guy that's like super into all the girls. And he watches all the passengers. 90.7084. Hehe. <laughs> Today's been sweet. Is he like... Oh my gosh. Is he raiding all the passengers? Oh, chestnut hair and twin tails. Brown eyes that are almost red like flame. Healthy proportions, but lacking in a certain feminine charm. I'll have to give that one 82 points. <laughs> Please explain to me in detail exactly how I made 82 points. I want a justification for the beatings. Well, now that I look, it's you, Estelle. Eh, hey, been a while. Ugh, you're the same as always, Alan. Dude. 
Mission of arrival and departure to Grand Soda Bose. Okay. Energy combustible objects. I hope we can actually fly, like, fly on the airships on this game. Because the last game we couldn't. When the first chapter we couldn't. It's almost like nothing has changed. It's impressive, right? Super impressive. Okay, so this is the map. W where did this guy say he was from again? He said he was from the center of the continent. Where is that exactly? Is it like to the top right or whatever? I don't even know where that's to. Or where that's at. Wow. This is crazy. No way can I go up there. Oh my gosh. I was like, if I could actually leave the town right now, and like explore everything, that'd be crazy. This is totally the wrong way. I need to get home. So south exit, right? How do you know? How do you know what exit we are going through? Can I go into the sewers? Ooh. Oh my gosh, the kids! Whoa! Estelle, Estelle's back! Hey Luke, you sound like you're doing okay. Hey! <laughs> Meeting me here shall be your end. Now, I shall show you the results of my days of trading. Estelle Bright, it is time for the reckoning! Time for the what? Our duel, duh. Just gonna tell you now, I'm the bestest fighter in all of Roland now. So come on, let's duel. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll do that later. Huh? What the crap? What kind of bracer backs down from a totally awesome challenge like that? Hey, are you okay, Estelle? You seem kind of... I don't know. What? No, I'm the same as always. I just need to go do something. Estelle! You're back, you're back. Welcome back. Hi, Pat. Yeah, I'm back. Luke heard about what you guys did and has really started practicing with his sword. Keep saying he'll absolutely become stronger than you, Estelle. This is so lovely. This is so lovely. Okay, what about the, the, the cat lady? Oh, I don't see the cat lady here. The one that's like after Joshua. Ah, it's Estelle. Hi, Claire. Sorry I haven't seen you in a while. Hey, who are you? Uh, who, me? <laughs> I love how, like, Kevin has, like, the snaggle tooth. Wait, could it be? Is he a mystery man here to tear Estelle and Joshua apart? You aren't allowed to have an exciting love triangle where I can't cover it. Uh, Claire. Oh, I know. I'm sure he'll fight Joshua to the death, but the flames of friendship will ignite as Mr. Greenhair breathes his last... Okay, the uh, kids around here are something else. Oh my gosh, I can go into the buildings. Lately, Pat's been spending a lot of time with my husband reading. They say books are good for the soul, so I think it's probably good for him, but... I'm just a little worried. Pat might take after my husband in less admirable ways. Oh no, where did Luke go? Really now, it's almost lunch too. Oh, Ashton. Ah, Estelle, Estelle Bright, hello. Wasn't aware you'd be returning to Roland. Hi, Mr. Ashton. I, like, literally just got back. I see. Well, I'm sure Luke will be very happy to see you've returned. Luke's been dedicating himself heavily to learning the new way of the sword recently. I had wondered what sparked the sudden interest, but he doesn't want to tell me. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure how to spend time with my son. I was out of the house so much. Ah, this is a little embarrassing, to be honest. Colonel Richard's coup was a real, really scary time for everyone. I mean, there's a lot of examples of nations being invaded or meddled with during domestic turmoil. I was really worried Erebonia or someone might actually invade us. Is there any, like, books I can collect? I wonder if there's going to be, like, a book series. Oh, I never read the Carnelia books. Oh, maybe I should have... Go ahead and... I should go back and read those. Oh, actually, I think I heard that in this game there's going to be a way to read all the books, right? Um, oh, I just realized I can't bring open up any recipes or any memos or anything in this game right now. Huh, interesting. Can I actually go up the clock? I can go up the clock tower. Paddington. It's another peaceful day with not a single worry in sight. I certainly hope that the days of war are long behind us. Hmm. This is where Estelle told Joshua about her mom. Lena. This is so nostalgic, to be honest. Because it's been, like, so long since we were here. Like, so long. And it's crazy how much I'm actually, like, remembering a lot of the people here. But why Estelle? On top of everything I heard about in the news, I understand you won the martial arts competition as well. You and Joshua truly are the pride of Roland. Aw, oh, come on, Vern. Stop flattering me. No, no, I do not... I do mean that. You inspire us all. Ah, uh, she really is something. 
the linen room. No one in here. Okay. Can we actually go to the mayor's re- Wow, we can go to the mayor's residence. Is the mayor even here though? Or is he still in, um, the mayor might actually still be in uh, Grantle right now because he was in Grantle at the party. And I remember at the end of the game, we could uh, meet him in Grantle. So he might actually not even be here. Oh, Estelle. Yes, Estelle. Hello. So you've returned to Roland. Sadly, I'm afraid Mayor Klaus is in Grantle at the moment. Yep. The mistress is also in Grantle, at least for now. Hmm, the mistress wanted to see you very badly too, Estelle. It's a shame. Yeah. Kind of figured. Oh, I remember this safe being broken into. Yeah, no one's home. Only the maid. Have you started the second game yet, Marty? Or are you uh, still just playing the... Uh, or w were you, like, waiting? Why, Estelle, welcome home. And you are. Pleasure to meet your father. I'm Kevin Graham, wandering priest. Uh, I did hear that someone from the high seat would be stationed in Grand so soon. Would that be you? Yep, guilty as charged. Now it's uh, kind of a long story as to why I'm out here. Father Kevin. Yeah. Please, protect Estelle in every way you can. Yeah, don't worry. Oh, so they just talked, and I guess Estelle didn't really hear what they, they were saying. Adios, you who dwell above in Splendor. Please watch over the people of Roland today, too. Actually, I'm not playing second chapter. I'm going down the Persona Road. I'm just watching you alongside. Got it. Okay, okay. That makes sense. I mean, I, I get it. Like, Persona is definitely a game that I would play if I, uh... If I didn't, um, if I, if I could stream it and I wasn't as worried about copyright issues. I know lots of people have played that game who aren't worried about it, but I'm just like, I just don't want to risk it. Especially when the game companies literally comes out and says they don't want people to stream it. I'm about to head off to cut some lumber in Mistwald. What's one of the only resources we can grow back after we use it? To tend the forest like a garden and grow with it, that's what it means to be a woodsman. Good morning and happy new years, Kazi! What's up? I was wondering where you were. Good morning. How are you doing, Kazi? H how was your uh, Christmas and New Year's? Oh, whoa, I can walk back here. I never knew that. I didn't know I could ever do that. Welcome, uh, oh, uh, Estelle? Hi, Eliza. It's been a while, huh? It's been a while, come on. You haven't been back since you went to Bolze. Well, uh, a lot kind of happened. Anyway, sorry if I worried you. Oh, I heard all about it. You became a full bracer and stopped Alan Richard, huh? You're so cool. Oh yeah, meanwhile, I'm finally allowed full run of the kitchen. Oh really, that's great. Here, come by and eat sometime. I'll treat you to my super best. Very super best. You bet your butt I will. Now with all that out of the way, let's talk about the real topic. The who, what? Oh my gosh, Josh. Dude, everyone just keeps talking about Joshua. She's gonna feel worse and worse and worse. Oh, don't play coy with me, Miss Bracer. You know, I'm talking about the total stud behind you. What happened to Joshua? Uh, it's not like that. Father Graham was just worried about me being alone, so he came. I mean, he, or, uh, oh, so he was worried about you being alone, you say? Ah, it's not like that. I'm here to go catch up to Joshua at home. Joshua, he went a little ahead of us. Did he? Oh, well, fine. That's enough for one day. Fortunately, I'm on the clock, so come by again. Make sure you bring Joshua, too. Better heal a lot more. Interesting stuff if you do that. I'm telling you, you have it all wrong. Um, hmm. There wasn't a problem I'd be on my honeymoon every stream. <laughs> Bro, you sp sprung this stream on me. I, I woke up and was like, damn you, Tara. What? I said I was going to, I said the first stream was going to be on January 2nd. I did say that. I was like, on, my, on that Monday after New Year's. Well, happy new year. Hey, Dark Samurai! Dark Samurai, I now know 
that your profile picture is Kevin. I had no idea. I literally just thought it was some random guy from a random game. So I'm guessing this is your favorite character or something? Oh, Trent! Oh, he's probably skipping out on work again. Uh, the boss is off today, so I can skip work without worry. Oh my gosh, he is skipping out on work again! I can't believe how much, like, continuity is in this game. A while back, Charizard brought in some guy. He was wearing this white coat. It was a weird one to be sure. Guy talked like he was drunk before he even touched the glass. And Ina came in as well, straight from the guild house. The guy didn't seem to know any better, and he greeted her warmly. To me, he looked like a downed vulgar among a pack of dindos. I don't know who those, what those are. Well, I forgot that. It's all good, Kazi. Kazi, how, how have you been, um, how, have you been playing through the game at all? I worked all the holidays and played Violet. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That sucks. Are you at least getting, like, hmm, some good pay? From working during, during the holidays. Here, thanks to Alan Richard, ingredient prices have... Estelle. My goodness, it's been so long. Aha, yeah, it really has. You surprised me, sweetie. When did you return to Roland? I practically just got off the airship. Is that so? Well, well, I'm sure Alyssa will be over the moon to see you again. Do come by with your friends again. You don't need to tell me twice. I'll see you th soon then. Yeah, I, um... What? Gosh. Pretty much like... For the past week, I've just been, over Christmas and New Year's, I've been climbing a ton. I've been climbing pretty much like every other day. I'm going rock climbing today as well. Um, been New Year's, I, I don't really like fireworks all that much. So honestly, for New Year's, I just kind of stayed in during like at midnight. I, just, I was just asleep. Um, but New Year's Day, I had some really good food with my, with, with my family. And then um, Christmas, I had like multiple different Christmas things, you know, been in time with everyone. Uh, welcome. I don't think I've ever talked to this guy. A welcome indeed, if it isn't Estelle Bright. Hi, Denzel. You sure seem full of energy. Darn right I am. No one want to eat food cooked by some lazy slob, right? Aha, I guess not. Oh yeah. We've got a new dish. It's a three-eyed soup. Give it a try and see what you think, eh? Okay, I'm guessing we get to try that later. But yeah, I've, I actually never came back here. Not even once. I didn't even know you could go back there. No, Estelle's mind is literally broken right now. Um, let's go. Ooh, kitty. Oh, no, this isn't kitty. This is some birds. Whoa, what did I chirp? Bagel. Who's bagel? Oh, what? I can't even look at it. I can't even look at it. How am I supposed to rest in the sewers? All, all those nights that I slept in the sewers in this game, I guess I can't do it anymore. Ah, uh, Stell. Hey, Uni. You been okay? Uh-huh. I'm okay. Stell, have you seen Luke yet? He's been talking about you a lot. He has, huh? I think Luke kind of looks up to Stell. Stell, when did you get back? Just a moment ago, actually. I heard from Ina you've become a full bracer, right? Sounds like that trip of yours was worthwhile. Uh, <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty much. From what I heard, it sounds like Cassius has rejoined the Roman army, too. It could really surprise us all, but in the end, maybe it'll help the kingdom come closer together. I'm just glad it seems like we'll be able to entrust a bright future to our children. We can find the holidays to play Chrono Trigger again. I've never played Chrono Trigger, actually. It was one of the games I, I want to play, but we're focusing on Trells. The only game outside of Trells that we'll be playing that I that I have even remotely planned is any new entry for Final Fantasy. So Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2, or Final Fantasy XVI, Tales of Symphonia, and then Sakodin and Uden Rising. Those are the games that, whenever they release, I'm willing to play alongside Trails. But outside of that, I can't add more. I just can't. I must act like every other game does not exist. Since Gatton is home today, I'm going all out on his this lunch. He, <laughs> Daddy's taking a day off today. And we're going on a picnic to the Purcell farm. So, wait, is this the boss? Yep, it is. Say, so, you're Cassius' girl. The bracer who helped us before, right? Yes, hello. Thanks to you, our mining of a new vein's going just fine. After what happened, we closed up that hole the monsters came out of with some explosives. 
Um, well, glad to hear it ended well. It wasn't really any other way. It was worth it, though. Oh, Malga's running just fine now. <laughs> cool. I took a s Ellie with me to Gransel for the Queen's birthday celebration last month. We ended up stuck in the middle of Alan Richard's coop. Some date that was. I was actually going to try to propose, but then the Royal Guard came out of nowhere and started storming the castle. Oh, this is the cu couple that, like, traveled all around the world, right? Trip up to Grantle with Armand was nice, but it's even nicer just being here, spending a quiet, peaceful day with him. Yeah, I remember them too. It's so interesting how all the buildings in this town are, like, very connected, you know? It's, like, very town homey, like, they're sharing a lot of walls together and stuff. It's like a mini fortress, kind of. Oh my gosh, Melders. Oh, welcome. Why, hello, Estelle. I missed you brightening up my shop. It's been a while, ain't it? Ahaha, <laughs> you look well, Mr. Melders. Eh, of course I'm well. I'm not about to lose to you kids just yet. Ah, uh, but if you're looking for Freddy, he's off in Zeiss. Oh, that's where he went? I guess that makes sense, because that's where, like, all orbital technology was created, right? Zeiss, what is he doing there? The Central Factory is giving some kind of training session on tactical ornaments, of all things. Tactical ornaments, huh? But boy, I've been ten kinds of busy lately. I don't care if the boy's learning to perform miracles. He needs to get back here. Um, Togodin is so good. It's similar to Trails in a way where all games take place in the same world. Yeah, see, that's the thing, like... Sakodin was, I think it was released in 1995 from what I was looking at, right? So I've, I remember that I touched a Sakodin game. I don't even know if it was the first one, but I remember touching it and playing it a little bit. But I don't remember anything about any kind of story. I don't even re really remember the gameplay super well, but when I looked at some old videos of the game, I was like, oh, this game looks super familiar to me. So I think when I was like, Maybe when I was like four or five years old, maybe my um, one of my cousins was playing the game or something, and I just like happened to to see them playing the game, and I happened to like touch it for like a split second. But I don't think I like I ever I don't think I ever like actually played played the games. So I think I, it would be really really fun to uh, to play a game like that because the game looks looks amazing to me. No jobs are available. Okay, I guess. Oh, Ina, 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 Ina. But I, I am gonna wait till the to the remaster comes out to actually play it again. I played the first Sakoda and now I'm waiting for the remaster to play the second. Are you gonna try to play the first one again though? Because it looks like like from what I saw the comparisons the before and after the it looks like they did a lot to the graphics. You know, it's not just like a slight reskin. It's actually they actually upgraded the graphics, which is nice. Estelle. What's wrong? I thought you were going to be in Grantsel for a while. Uh -huh. Well, Joshua came home early, so I'm trying to catch up with him. He did. Oh, she would know if Joshua came home early. Oh, no. So are you from the Septian Church? That's right. Kevin Graham's the name. I'm not sure what happened, but I've never seen Estelle this out of sorts. I know it's a lot to ask, but could I ask you to stay with her until she's calmed down? Trust me, I'm on top of it. Thank you, Father. Huh? Yeah. See, I knew he was, like, Kevin is way more inqui inquisitive than, um, he lots off. Yo, Estelle, I heard from Ina. Congrats on your promotion to Senior Bracer. Ah, uh -huh, thanks, Ridge. Where's Shira and Joshua, though? Would have expected to see them with you. Shira's still in Gransel. Joshua came back home a little ahead of us. Weird, all right. Well, can't wait to work together again. Yeah, like, they all would have seen Joshua. So they, they know something's up. 100%. Um, let's go to this shop. Yeah. Oh. Well, I'll be. It's Estelle. It's been ages. When did you get back? Hi, Renan. I literally just got back now. You look well. You bet I am. Oh, yeah. We should be getting the last Drigas in soon. Whoa, really? Right. Those limited edition ones to celebrate the fifth, 50th anniversary of the Striga Corporation. Oh, sure. You know a lot. Hey. What can I say? A man's got to love him some kicks. I mean, check it. I'm wearing some right now. Oh, those are. I saw those in a magazine. They're an international-only model, not so liberal. Bingo. I wanted some, but I couldn't find a way to import them. Hang on, Estelle. You're big into sneakers, too? Oh, uh, well. Cool. Glad we have shared interest. This is like they're into sneakers instead of into cars. Yes, indeed. This, too, is the guiding hand of she above. 
Hang on, sneakers. On a priest of the church? Is that seriously okay? Wait, this guy's a priest? Duh! Come on, I'm outnumbered here. In other news, my mother's been out scouring the countryside, high and low, to find me a wife. Huh. I wish she just let it be already. I feel like that's like... I feel like that's a good wing woman. Wouldn't you think? That's actually not bad. I feel like if your mom is literally out there looking for someone for you, she's probably going to be the best wing woman in the universe. I'll probably play both. The first to go in the game is short. Yeah, I think it's like, what, it was like 20 hours? I'm actually hoping they, they might have added a bit more to it, but... I wouldn't mind like a 20 hour JRPG. Because I think like uh, JRPGs originally were about 20 hours. It wasn't until later that they all started becoming like 40 hour games. And I feel like a lot of the current JRPGs, they like strive for, you know, 40 hours, but they shouldn't be 40 hour games. Like they start lacking somewhere because they, they are trying to push for length instead of like keeping the game story and gameplay like good <laughs> throughout. I've had no luck at all finding a good bri bride for Renan. At this point, I think I'll have to take my search to the rest of the country. Be good to start at a place where many people gather. Oh, I know. I should begin in the capital. Mother's no best. Okay, let's check out the weapon shop. Estelle! Estelle, it is you. Hi, Elgar. I've missed you. You, young lady, have been all over the damn news. Heard you're a full bracer now, among other things. Really, you bracer surprised me again and again. Heard that old dog Cassius as well, too. Though, wait a moment. Where's Joshua? Uh, he came home a bit ahead of us. Ahead of us. I was just on my way back home myself. Did he now? Came back and didn't even drop by to say hello. Well, that's just heartless. Joshua didn't stop by to say hi. That's silly. Don't worry. I'll tell him to come visit when I see him. Yes, please do. Estelle. Hi, Estella. Oh my gosh, Estelle and Stella. It's really you. Uh-huh. It's really my little Estelle. Oh, Adios. It feels like I haven't seen you in years. Kind of think you're blowing it out of proportion. I wonder how long after, though. I think it's been like, what, six months? Or something around? We talked about you every day. You went off to travel without saying anything to me. Yeah, sorry, Stella. It's all right. I know you were in a hurry. More importantly, come on. Tell me all about your journey. I'd love to see Joshua, too. Is he with you? Um, uh, excuse me. Pardon your... Nice to meet you. I'm Kevin Graham, wandering priest. Sorry to interrupt the reunion, but Estelle's in a bit of a hurry. Oh, really? I'm sorry. I just got so excited. No, don't worry about it. I'll make sure to come by again. Yes, I'll make your favorite dish, Estelle. Bring Joshua next time, too. Sakoda 1 is a perfect short game to get you ready for Sakoda 2. First time here enjoying the stream. Love this game. Hey, Bri. Wait, how do, how do you pronounce your name? Uh, oh, is it like Brainiac? Is it like a different way of, of spelling Brainiac? That's kind of cool. Yeah, see, I... It, how long is the code in two, then? If the code in one is, like, shorter... Um, did I explore everything here? I think I did. Went to the Septian Church. Went to the shops. Yeah, I kind of, I explored everything. Yeah, cool. About 35 hours, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I don't, I don't mind shorter games. I really don't. It just depends on how they, they put it together. I think 20 hours is like pretty good for a JRPG. I do think like, what, Western RPGs? They're generally better at like, 10 to... 12 hours like it's weird western rpgs are just completely different because of the graphical fidelity of those games like western rpgs push really hard for really good graphics so when you push that hard for good graphics it's hard to make like a a super long game okay city of roland bright family house okay let's go to the family house we still got turbo mode and whatnot. But thanks for stopping by the stream. How, how, how'd you find me? Uh, so this is your place, Estelle. It's got a, how to put this, a warm, homey feel to it. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know. This place holds a lot of memories for me, for Dad. And for Joshua, too. So I can see. 
And you think Josh was going to be just inside, right? Yeah, I'm sure he is. Come on in. I'll introduce you to him. He'll like you, I think. Well, Man, who is this guy? The number he's done on her. Oh, gosh. Well, let's get this over with. Adios, give her strength. Dude, Kevin's like, this guy's an abuser. Joshua! I'm home! Oh, I feel so sad. You're back, right? That's weird. I'm sure he must be here. Ah, uh, maybe he's in Dad's study. To Joshua? Oh wait, duh. It's possible he's in my room looking for something, right? Did I leave some underwear or something laying around? Uh, my room's clean at least. Though Joshua probably wouldn't care about a few panties here and there, so... Oh, I hate how the music just stopped and it's just dead silence. Joshua, I'm coming in, okay? This is depressing. Oh. Of course, makes sense. I'm such an idiot. So your boyfriend's not here, huh? Boyfriend. <laughs> or, hey, maybe we missed him. He came back, then headed out to town for a bit, and we passed by each other without realizing. No. Mm hmm. You've accepted it, then. I, really, I knew somewhere deep down. I knew he really left. There was no way he'd come back home for any longer than a few moments. Right. But this room was it. It was my last hope. I have no idea where else he could be. At all. So this is the end. I'll never see Joshua again. Ever. Ain't it a bit early to be giving up that easily. Huh? In the end, the only one who knows whether we're destined to meet someone again, here or beyond, is Adios herself. Just because you think fate's against you is no reason to give up. Question then, Estelle, is this. What do you think you can do about it? But... But... I don't even have any leads to follow. No leads at all, you sure? I don't know your boyfriend, of course, but... Nobody I know would disappear without some reason. What do you... Was there anything weird in how he talked or acted towards you recently? Maybe something strange had been happening with him lately. Something only you, who've been with him so long, would pick up on. Hey. Hmm. Oh yeah, of course. Joshua tried acting weird right after I got back to that spot where we were resting. What the, why is my head fuzzy? Why can't I remember who I met along the way? I did meet someone. Wait, does he literally have the power to like erase her memories on the spot? Like there's not like a deeper thing that he has to do? Hey, you okay? You went white as a sheet there. Yeah, I think so. She doesn't remember meeting Alba there. Now I get it. Joshua went off to stop the foul magician. The person I met then was that magician. And that person was the only one actually behind the coop in Colonel Richard's memory trouble. Then that magician must still be planning something else in Liberal. But that means if I can stop him as a bracer, maybe, just maybe. If you're, so you've realized what's going on. Is Cassius? Yo! This music is on a different level. Like, every, like, I thought the first game's music was good, but everything in this game right now, holy cow. Dad, Shira, why are you here? Sorry, Estelle. When we touched down, I took the liberty of contacting the guild's Gransel branch on the sly. Huh? Estelle, honey, you scared the pants off of us, running away like that. We were at the Gransel Guild house, trying to find you when the call came in. We barely managed to catch a departing freight liner out here. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Just as Shira Sard said, I'm glad you're safe, Estelle. Now then, Father Kevin was it. I appreciate your con you contacting us. You have my deepest thanks for letting us know where Estelle was. Nah, don't worry about it. 
I fought for butting into family matters, really. Um, that I. No, Estelle, the one who needs to apologize is me. It was nothing more than my ego talking when I told you to stay away from Ouroboros. I was simply forcing my opinion as a man and as a father onto you. Sherazard made the point. Uh, quite clear on our trip over. Shira. I sure did. Don't worry, Estelle. I'm completely behind you on this. In all honesty, I thought I'd prepared for the day for a long while, but losing him is worse than I could have even imagined. Thus I, if nothing else, I wanted to keep you from walking the path of thorns which now lies before us. I couldn't bear the thought of you sharing Lena's fate, of you losing your life to protect someone else. But this is an insult, not just to you, but to your mother as well. I understand now, as terrifying as the possibility still seems to me. Dad, I will be too busy with the work of rebuilding the military to act on my own. I fear that that is exactly why they will act now, this time. I really won't be able to help you, Estelle. Are you sure this is what you want? Nikasis is like, it's time. It's time for you to go, Estelle. To be the hero you were always destined to be. Yes, I know. I've still got a lot to learn, but I don't see any other way. So I'll do it. I'll put a stop to whatever horrible thing this Ouroboros has planned, and I'll bring Joshua back home. I see. And there's nothing more to say. As a bracer and as an independent woman, do as you see fit, Dad. Aww. I, I. Well, no, there is one more thing I must say. Huh? Estelle, I'm counting on you. Bring back Joshua. Bring back my damn fool of a son. Please. Huh? Cherizard has to join us, right? Piece of cake. I'll do it. I'll make sure we can all live in this house again. I will bring Joshua back, no matter what stands in my way. That was sweet. And the music was perfect for this moment. That was perfect. That was like the perfect entry to like kind of like a solemn adventure, you know? Mmm. Is this like the, the intro video? Joshua's eyes looks kind of glossed over. Oh, this is so like solemn looking. That was Lawrence, I think, standing there. What is this? Someone's singing. Anna oh, that's Annalise. And uh, Kurt, I think. There's Tita. Agat. Russell. Sherazard. Zin. Who is this, though? There's some kind of, like, war about, and looks like this going on. Are we gonna be in a war in this game? What's that emblem right there? Who are all these people? Oh, are these all Ouroboros? Oh my gosh, they look kind of badass. Chloe! Oh, her new outfit! Mueller and Olivia! <laughs> I hope Mueller gets like his moments in this game too. I love Olivia and Mueller's dynamic. And then that was you guys believe. That's like the sky- The sky bandits are still around? What? Dude, Joshua looks so weird with his eyes like blank like this. It's, it's gonna be weird not having Joshua though. It's gonna be so weird because I'm so used to having him like the entirety of the game. What am I gonna do without someone to cast White Kahana? <laughs> I feel like Joshua carried me for most of the game. Like Chloe and Joshua were the ones that carried me. Oh, this is rough to see. I'm gonna style this music. Oh, the music's so amazing. The games even depicts the stages of grief realistically. He makes people forget his face. That's why he's known as Wiseman the Faceless. Oh, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Lots of great tracks in second chapter. I think, I honestly, this, this soundtrack is better than the first game. Like, the first game soundtrack was really good and very nostalgic, but, like, 
there's just like more of like a resonance to all the this this game soundtrack. And I also feel like the um I feel like there was moments in the first game. I don't know if this is gonna continue on with this game, like how how flawlessly they're doing the soundtrack. There was moments in the first game that certain tracks were being played at like and it wasn't giving the right emotion for what was happening on in, in that scene of the game. So far, I feel like all the tracks that I've played in this on the second chapter have all been like pretty on point for what's currently happening and really conveying it properly. Like the one, like what's that one? Like the investigation track played so much in the first game. And I love, I love that track, but like there were certain moments that I'm like, they're not even doing an investigation right now. This isn't the right time to play this music. Crazy good soundtrack, though. I missed the ba regular battle music from the first game. Also, oh, they also changed the battle music. I, I'm looking forward to seeing, hearing that, though. So this is the prologue. Two months later, Midwest Samaria, Lemon State, Lee Local Canyon, Bracer Training Grounds. So we're training. So Annalise and Estelle. Wait! Are we get do we get to play with Annalise? Oh, I hope that she gets to join us. I hope we get to play with her in our, on our team. That'd be so cool. Annalise is honestly like one of the like, like the better um, like non-playable characters, I think. Here I come, Annalise. Wait, Estelle's outfit is different too. Blazing barrage. Yeah, that is pretty hot. But now it's my turn. Hey, Leaf Blitz. Oh! Oh, I'm not done yet. I can't keep this up. So, what the? You're mine. She like waited for the perfect moment. Oh, yikes. Are you okay, Annalise? I didn't mean to hit that hard. <laughs> no, I'm okay. I blocked it, uh, mostly. Phew. Sure got me good with that one, though. Guess I can't rely on that one move as my win button anymore. Huh? <laughs> it was just luck, really. Besides, I gotta give back a little of what I've been taking. You've really been throwing yourself into this, Estelle. If you got enough energy left for smack talk, let's do one more set. Come on, you're on. Well, you two certainly have a lot of energy this morning. Who's this? Oh, Phyllis, good morning. Morning, Phyllis. Good morning, Estelle, Annalise. I was going to call you two to, to breakfast, but... I suppose you'd rather beat the stuffing out of each other instead of getting stuffed, hmm? Oh, breakfast, right. What do you think, Annalise? Beat stuffing or get stuffing? Hmm, that is a choice, isn't it? We'd be wasting a perfectly good breakfast if we didn't eat, so... Phyllis, you wouldn't happen to know where Kurt is, would you? Kurt said he had to prepare some things for today's training, so we went on ahead. He made it sound like he had some pretty hard things lined up for you two today. Oh, great. He really said that. Mm-hmm. And he told me to make sure you both ate a good breakfast. Come in and eat, you two. Something tells me you'll be wanting it later. Phew. Didn't realize how hungry I was. I hope it isn't a bad idea to eat this much before practice, though. Yeah, Phyllis cooking is extra super yummy. Plus, Kurt's got something big planned, so I doubt we'll get a lunch break, you know? Yeah, good point. We need to keep our strength up to train after all. Man, though, it's already been three weeks since I came here. Feels like it's passed by in the blink of an eye. <laughs> well, you really threw yourself into it, Estelle. Training with you has done me a lot of good, too. Aw, thanks, Annalise. That means a lot. Gotta admit, though, while I'm glad Kurt agreed to train us, I really didn't expect for you to be here training with me. Well, I've only been a senior bracer for, like, half a year. I'm really still a newbie myself, to be honest. When Shira told me that the whole deal with you and the training and stuff, I thought, hey... Perfect. Kurt and the others had mentioned this place before, and I'd wanted to come anyway. So when I heard you were coming, well... Oh, well, that makes sense. You know, thinking about it, the guild owning something like this makes me realize just how big the guild is. When Dad first told me about it, I didn't realize how big a thing it would be. Hmm. Hanalee's heart eyes. Oh. As I said, Estelle, I have no intention of stopping you. To be honest, however, you are no match for the society, especially against their deadliest agents. You simply lack the skills. So I have a suggestion. Would you like to go to 
Le- I'm, I'm, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing this play right, place right. Like, Le Locale. It's a training ground run by the Bracer Guild near the international headquarters in the Lemon State. Its base is set within a canyon that contains a number of difficult training facilities covering skills of all kinds. Ruins investigation techniques, ranger tracking and survival skills, counter-terrorist operations. It is barred on the finest place on the continent for teaching practical bracer skills. Oh, I never knew there was a place like that. But it's in Lim- uh, Limon, isn't it? So it's outside the country. I don't think I can leave liberal like th- right now. Well, it's in a foreign country, yes, but it's only one day by airship. The training period lasts for about a month, I believe. If anything new comes up while you're there, we'll send for you right right away. How does that sound? Well, I recommend it, but the decision is yours. You didn't answer today. Take some time to think it over. No, I've decided. I'll take the training. Oh my. Excellent. You sound rather determined. Get the feeling you've been thinking about something like this for some time. Yeah, sorta. To be honest, looking back, I've just been relying on Joshua this whole time. Whenever something happened, Joshua would always guide me to the answer. But now, now I have to rely on my own judgment. But yes, I want to retrain myself at this Le Le Locale place. Oh, Estelle. I see. Then we'll file your application to attend tomorrow. Roland's Guild Branch will have everything we need for it. Okay then, tomorrow. Say, Estelle. Once we're done with that, let's hop back over to the department store in Grantsville for a minute, hmm? The department store? Why? Well, I haven't gotten you your senior bracer present yet. And you, I think, are going to need some new on-the-job clothes. So that's how she got her new outfit with Shirazard. I wonder if Shirazard gets a new outfit. Yeah, it kind of surprised me too. Speaking of your folks, the, those clothes were a present from Shiro, right? You're so lucky. I wish Shiro would buy me clothes, especially cute stuff like that. Yeah, they were. I mean, they're tough and all, and they're nice and light and easy to move around in, but I don't know if colors this girly are really my thing. What? Are you kidding? You look great. Way better than that old red outfit of yours. Remember, we may be bracers, but we're girls too. Fashion is important. No. Because we're braces, we have to look great. It's our duty. Uh, Annalise. Ah, uh, I've got it. Estelle, a hair ribbon. You look pretty great with one. How about it? I should have a spare somewhere. Uh, I'll pass, thanks. In fact, I uh, couldn't help but notice. You're kind of a fan of cute things, aren't you, Annalise? Well, yeah. Cuteness is justice. It's the law. I mean, okay, I totally get the appeal of cool older woman like Shira. But there's nothing, not a thing, that can beat a young girl who's dressed up all cute. And whenever I see a teddy bear or a stuffed animal, I just want to hug it to death and... <laughs> if she ever met Tita, she'd probably faint. Mm. But you know, you've changed a lot since I first met you. Huh? Well, when we first met way back when, you had this real, I'm a naive, innocent newbie air about you. And you still have the air of newbies- newbiness around you. But now it seems like you've got some steel in your soul, I guess. It's pretty incredible, if you ask me. Aw, oh, Annalise, cut it out with the flattery. <laughs> Don't get so embarrassed, I meant it. Besides, you want me... <laughs> Besides, you make me want to work harder. Can't let a young upstart like you take my cutest, best bracer ever title. Really? Anyway, shouldn't we be getting to practice soon? Yeah, it's about time, I guess, huh? Let's go back to our rooms and get ready. See you in a bit. Gee, she's like a ball of energy. So glad to have her with me, though. Alright, gotta stop by my room and get my stuff together. It's pronounced, uh, Le Locale? Wait. Le Loc Le. Le Loc Le. Le Loc Le. Le Loc Le. I'll try to remember that. Le Loc Le. Le Loc Le. It's like, kind of like a little bit of a tongue twister for me. To say those words in succession. Cuteness is justice. I'm liking the character development here. Like, like we've already had Estelle being character developed throughout the entire first chapter, and like this is just going to continue on, right? But like, I'm liking how like they're fleshing out these other characters that we've met like briefly, like Annalise. Oh, Estelle. Well, satisfied? Yep, I'm stuffed. It was so good I uh, couldn't help but eat a little too much. Well, that's good. Today will be a big lesson that will wrap up your training here, apparently. Put your best foot forward, all right? I will. Estelle, good morning. You and Annalise were really good at it. 
I could hear you from in here. My workshop's still not open, but I'll be ready before you have to head out. We can do orbit tuning or whatever you need then. It's gonna be so weird if I have to restart all my orbits all over again. I still only have the practice weapon. Oh my gosh! Estelle looks so different! She has a different portrait! I like the new outfit! It's a, it's a little bright for me, like the shoulder pads and like the out. It's a little bright, but I, 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 I really don't mind it. I really don't mind it. I kind of wish the menu looked different, though. Like, I don't really like how the menu looks in this game. I think I like the first game's menu a little bit more. Okay, let's save again. All right, I'm going to use the... I'm gonna use the, the 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 bathroom real quick because we're about halfway through the stream right now, and before we get into like any combat and stuff where I get absolutely wrecked, I want to go ahead and use the bathroom. Gosh, look at the music though, so happy. All right, be right back, and I'm back. Okay. Uh, I've seen a lot so far, and I like how they matured. Oh. Actually, I forgot. I gotta put my Invisalign back in real quick. Oh, McCor! Hi! Yo! Um, sorry guys, I'm late. My internet's been a mess this last few days. Also thought Tara was gonna pick up this up later on the week. This caught me off guard. Now, I, um... Now, I... It was, it was difficult. I taking a break during this, you know, holiday season, but it was, it was also nice. I feel like I'm pretty rejuvenated now. Um, but I, I did say on the end of the last stream that I w was planning on starting it like the day after New Year's, the, the Monday after New Year's. But okay, I gotta put my Invisalign back in before we start. Totally forgot to do that. I wasn't the only one. You weren't the only one. That's right. Kazi was not the only one. But I'm happy to have you here. I did I did make an um I think I made an announcement before I went live on Discord. I did do that. But it's okay, McCor. You made it in time to see, you know, me get stuck on some fights. I don't know. Because everyone keeps saying that this game's like way harder on Nightmare than the other game. Oh, you know what? I just remembered. What did you just remember? Oh, wait one second. Oh, you did have to leave early. That's right. You did have to leave early. That makes sense. See, that makes sense. Did McCore have to leave early, though? Where was McCore there? I don't remember. Gotta clean my glasses off. go much better i never finished watching that stream you gotta do the end of that game was insane all right let's head upstairs let's see where can we talk to people let's go talk how to talk to people uh door is shut oh my gosh i didn't mean to do that do that work tonight <laughs> no the end of the game is absolutely insane and i know that i, I don't think you're you're playing it right now right so Actually, you're not even close to the end. Maybe you should just, I don't know, I don't know. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do. Estelle, hello. Get your equipment ready and head to the first floor. We'll begin today's training soon. Dude, Kurt. No, I didn't leave early. I guess I kind of jumbled some things between you and the other streamers I watched. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Now nah, we're back on my normal stream schedule now, and I am like super excited to be playing second chapter. And so far, like second chapter has been, like the music has been fantastic, and I'm only like an hour and a half in. And I've heard from like everyone that this is like the best entry for Trolls in the Sky, so I'm I'm gonna have to be like have to judge that. Okay, Lay Lockley, Lay Lockley. There we go. I gotta gotta say that right. Laylock Lay. I don't even pronounce uh what what liberal right, so. Hmm. 
There's no one here. There's literally no one here. What am I supposed to do? Sort of feel like training will start without me while I'm wasting time. Might be a good idea to head back to my room and check my equipment. But didn't it say the door a door was locked? Wait, hold up. Is this... Wait, maybe the second room is hers? Is this her room? What in the world? I'm so confused right now. Oh, there's other doors that are up top. Oh my gosh. I didn't even notice these doors up here. I'm so blind. There's Annalise. Still already done. Nah, I was just about to head to my room. Uh, okay, you better get ready fast then. See you in a bit, Estelle. Yeah, later. Okay, this is her room. There we go. Oh my gosh, look at all the sneakers. She really is a sneaker person. She's collecting sneakers like people collect cars. Uh, yeah, I'm back at playing it. I just got Shira and Olivia. I've been farming some palms. Got it. Okay, okay. But you just got Shira and Olivia, so you're on like chapter two then, right? That was Shira and Olivia. Hey, there's no real best entry in the Sky Trilogy. Second chapter and third are mostly the ones who are thought of as the best, but first chapter is not that far behind them. Got it. Okay, this is Kurt. I feel like, honestly, I feel like I'm playing the same game. I feel like the game just continued. <laughs> like, I don't feel like I'm playing a different game right now. Okay, this is Kurt practice we're talking about. So let's assume I'll need everything. Kitchen sink included. It'll be just like real combat, so I'll have no idea what to expect. Is that a different staff that we can get? So I took the harmonica out of her bag. Okay, I'll do my best today too, I promise. Packed away Joshua's harmonica. She has Joshua's harmonica. Ooh, yay! We get a bunch of equipment. All right, thanks every everything. Next stop, the entrance. Cool. How good is this equipment? That's good equipment, actually. I don't get any uh, ADF, though. I mean, what actually transfers over, though? None of this equipment is stuff that transferred over, right? This was all old equipment. Did I, like... I think only her level transferred over from the other game. Oh, they're, they're, they're in different positions. Let me talk to people again, then. They're going to be in different positions. No, no one's here again. I'm going to assume that this room is, belongs to, like, the orbital person down there. Oops. Come on now, take a seat. Kurt and Annalise have been waiting for a while now. No, they haven't. They were just in their rooms a second ago. First, go hear what Kurt has to say. Then get something he wants to give you. Joshua did leave the harmonica with her. It's something like I'm leaving his humanity with her. Mm. She always liked him playing his, his harmonica, right? I grew with Melkor. It's more to personal taste. I like the first game more, and recently I've been seeing more and more people say that the third is their favorite. Mostly level transfer, but you get rewards in the prologue depending on your last rank in the past game. Oh, okay. Well, I think it was the highest rank that you could be, right? I didn't collect... I didn't get, like, the best BP that you could get, but I, I think I was the highest rank. I'm hoping I get something. For that, at least. So, your seat's next to mine. You're here, Estelle. Good. Well, let's begin, then. Please take the seat across from me. Today I want you and Annalise to cover your runes exploration. We'll be heading to the Ballstar Channel, which is west of the Lodge. The Ballstar Channel? Kind of a strange name, but it's another training facility, right? Yes, that's exactly it. It's an old aqueduct from the Middle Ages that the guild repurposed. Several of its defense mechanisms are still operable. Plus, quite a few monsters have made it their, their nest. Traps and monsters, huh? Yep, that sounds like practice Kurt style to me. So let's head off to this aqua thingy. Hold on a moment before we leave. I want you two to take a look at these. Kurt produced a pair of strangely configured ornaments. What? This is... Looks like a combat ornament, but it's all weird. Wait, how many ornament slots are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did we get more ornament slots? Correct, this is a new model combat ornament. You know, of course, the Epstein Foundation, which develops combat ornaments among many other orbital technologies. This is a new kind of combat ornament developed by the Foundation and supplied to the guild mere weeks ago. 
As you can see, they have an additional slot compared to previous ornaments for a total of seven. As a result, this should allow for the utilization of new, more powerful combat arts. So this is how they're going to expand the combat system. That's cool. Uh, whoa, that's incredible. Heck yeah, it is. This will make us awesome. So don't be stingy, Kurt. Make with the goodies. If you wish, the guild will provide you each with one for free. However, there is, as you may expect, a catch. The circuit architecture within these ornaments is radically different from your co current combat ornaments. As a result, your old court crystals are not compatible with these new ornament whatsoever. So that's why we can't have any of our old courts? You will need to obtain new revised courts. What? This is bullshit. What that mean? That all the courts we made up till now are worthless. I'm afraid so, yes. It will be a hassle, but you'll need to rebuild your quartz collection from scratch if you use these. Oh, no way. Sheesh, this is a hard choice. Would we keep using our current ornaments? You could, but I don't recommend it. These new ornaments are superior models in every way. Their maximum EP potential is higher, and the high-end new quartz they can accept have impressive capabilities. In the long term, they will grant you increased physical abilities. And most importantly, the arts they can construct are far beyond what your current ornaments are capable of. Estelle, you recall our, you recall our good friend, Lieutenant Lawrence, I assume. What? The one that beat our butts? Lawrence, yeah. I don't think I could forget him, even if I wanted to. Shira told me about a certain bizarre art he used against you. A terrifying attack that lashed out at your entire team and clouded your minds. As it happens, this ornament can manifest an art exactly like that with the correct quartz combination. Svendub Silver Thorn. Silver Thorn. Wait, hang on a sec here. Wouldn't that mean that red uniform bozo had one of these new model ornaments two months ago? Scary thought, but it's very possible, the implications of which are... Well, for now, I must know. We accept the new ornaments. Yeah, that means that they have... the inside scoop on new, new technology somehow. Or someone within is helping them. Well, for now, I must know. Will you accept the new ornaments? Hmm. Man, this is so tough. It's a bit of work and make us awesome, but right now, it'd be a nasty drop in power. I... I'd like the new model, Kurt. What? Lawrence, whatever his name is... Beat us away like a tiger swatting at a playful club cub. I know. I wonder if these this dialogue would change if I was to beat Lawrence, because I knew you, you could beat him in the first game. I know a new ornament won't make me innately stronger, but this would give me even the tiniest edge. I'd like to master it. So please, Estelle. Yeah, you're right. Like I said, Kurt, fork over the goodies. Very well. Go ahead and take them. Found Annalise, receive new model combat ornaments. Also, take these. Found Annalise, receive various kinds of Sibeth. That should be enough to synthesize a basic selection of quartz. Robert's stationed at the workshop there in the corner, so he'll be able to help you prepare some quartz. Incidentally, your bracer notebook should also cover all of the new quartz and arts available. Might not be a bad idea to skim through it before talking to him. Yeah, I really do. I want to. I want to read through everything. Sure, we'll do that. In addition, today's practice is likely to be uh, long duration, shall we say? I'd recommend bringing some food just in case. All uh, right, food. Just talk to Phyllis about that, right? Correct. Talk to Robert and Phyllis for anything you might need before we begin practice. Ah, uh, Estelle, before I forget, these are for you. Glove gear, celestial bomb, emergency puppet. Hmm. These are, oh, shiny, and it all looks really high quality too. Yes, they're all quite valuable. Think of them as a reward from the guild for your successes as a junior bracer. Thanks. Now then, I shall wait for you outside the lodge. Come see me once you're ready. I wonder if that stuff is the stuff that I get for uh, getting max bracer rank. I don't know. Hey, Estelle, let's go get ready. Right, let's talk to Phyllis and Robert. You may now access your senior bracer notebook. This notebook contains information about your jobs, related events, or mint info. To read your bracer notebook, open the items menu from the camp menu and open and under the book categories like bracer's notebook. Sweet. Oh, shit. Yo. Annalise! You do get her! Oh, what? This ain't fair. She's level 40. Oh, th that ain't fair. That's kind of, that's kind of, that's kind of whack. That's kind of messed up. Sweet! This is so cool that you can, that we can actually play with her. This dialogue won't change, even if you somehow defeat Lawrence in the past. He wrecks you in the cutscene after and then let things play the same as normal. Oh... Lawrence beats you in the cutscene even with you win. He just says you're stronger than he thought or something like that. Remember, Lawrence was still holding back in that... True. 
True, true, true. Uh, battle positions. I don't even know. I'm going to keep them the same for now. Got Bracer Notebook. Got the map. We got the map of this place. Huh. We got this map. But we can't... We don't actually know where... Like, I really wish that we had a different map. So we could see, like, everywhere, you know? Junior Bracer Notebook. So there's two different things. Wow! We got our Junior Bracer Notebook back. That's cool. So you can see everything that you did in the previous game. This is kind of nostalgic, ain't it? That's so cool. Embracer Notebook. Oh my gosh, this is way bigger. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of scared looking at that. Okay. Oh, she's a Wind Quartz user. Oh, that Ormond. Okay, she has a better... Oh my gosh, I love this Ormond slots. Yeah, th these are kind of cool. This is so bad, though. This just looks horrible to me. Yeah, this looks horrible. All over the place, really. It's gonna take me a while to get used to this menu screen. Because it just looks so different. But yeah, let's go ahead and read our uh, Bracer Notebook. And that one quest, you it will always be noted that I filled one quest. Dang it. Okay, Grant so Estelle Bright, Grant Soul Branch, Senior Bracer, G rank. Okay. Of course, we, we gotta get to S rank before the end of this game. Uh, basic principle bracers are organization above the borders of nationality. Their duty is the peace and safety of the citizenry. Protective duty civilians. If civilians' life or freedoms are threatened, a bracer's duty is to ensure their safety, non interference, nation. Bracers have no authority against nation, national entities or organizations recognized and authorized by them. Uh, ranks are assigned from A to G. Oh! Wait, I thought there was S rank, though. I thought Cassius was S rank. On experience and success, A plus is added when near promotion. I think Cassius is S rank, though. So how is there only A to G? Or maybe... Oh, no. They said that S rank is, like, secretive, right? Like, they're not... They don't really tell people there's S rank, right? Oh, yeah. I don't have to unlock slots in this game. My EP is low, though. Maybe I have to put the orbits, the uh, quartz inside of the slots first to get stuff. Hey, Thaw Link. Hi, everyone. It's cool to see someone play the trail series for the first time. Dude, I'm having so much fun in this game, for real. Cassius is S rank. See, I, that's what I thought. I was like, this. it doesn't say you can get S rank, though. That's weird. Maybe in this game you can only get uh, get get A rank. I also had to take some time to adapt to the new menu's colors, and I wasn't even playing the game. I was just watching. Yeah, this is so weird seeing this, these menu colors. The previous game you could change the menu though, so I, I'm kind of confused why they, they don't allow you to. Okay, so we got. They barely gave us any Sabbath. Kind of ripped us ripped us off there. Um, stone hammer, stone earth guard, crest. Petrify Cloud, that's different. Yeah, they, they have new abilities now. Oh, they got way new abilities. Gaia Shield, what? 220 EP? Immunity for all? Geo Catastrophe? 160 EP attack on everybody? What? Oh, that's good. They made Earthwall, like, cost more. That's really good they did that. Yeah, they made Earthwall so much more. Eight Earth, four of these whatever light things. 75 EP. They made it way more EP. Earthguard is so cheap, though, to cost comparatively 10 EP. That's good they nerfed it. Now it's cost the same as Titanic Roar. Wow, they, they nerfed the hell out of Earthwall. So you can't, probably it's harder to spam it. I don't know how much EP your characters end up getting, but yeah, they made it way more expensive. Cool. Petrosphere, though. Movement minus four. I wonder if you do Petrosphere if people just, like, can't even move anymore. Lacrest. 
I like to have that they have law crest because I felt like crest only being able to hit one person kind of sucked. But I wonder if they have law saint. But saint kind of sucked because you didn't have law and saint. So this is all the water magics, I guess. Series is uh, greatest of all time. <laughs> Everything is more expensive. Yeah. Tear is still one. Aqua Bleed still one. Curia, two, one. Ooh, it's gonna take me a while to get used to how they're displaying some of the things on these menus, though. Cockatus? 25 water? Say what? Law tier all? 300 deep HP? What? Revive and heal HP. So you can heal, you can revive everyone with Othelas? Or Othelas? Because Thalus before you could only, you could revive and heal one person, but now you can revive and heal everybody. Diamond Dust is more expensive now. Maybe Diamond Dust is stronger though. Like Diamond Dust before, honestly, it needed to be way stronger. Because like White Kahana was just like so overpowered compared to it. It's kind of stupid how that, that worked. Because White Kahana was like medium range, right? And Diamond Dust was small. So it's just like, yeah, Freeze is a better effect than Faint, but just the fact that like White Kahana was bigger just made it. And because White Kahana wasn't elemental, unless something was literally weak against water, there was no reason to do Diamond Dust. And even when there was a reason to do Diamond Dust, like it's smaller, so like sometimes you can't even hit everyone. So yeah, I kind of like that they, uh, Tier All looks worthless though. La Tier All is, looks good. La Tier is still good, yeah. Cool. Gosh, I want Chloe. I want I want to go back to do what, doing what I was doing in the, in the last game where I got like the gladiator gear and I had Chloe just reviving everyone at the end of the game. I want to do that again. I hope you I hope you can or something like that. Cuz Chloe carried me hardcore. All right, magic 3. I never really did fire magic. I really hope that they that fire magic is a bit better in this game. I really do. <sighs> Firebolt, Forte, Flare, Arrow. <sighs> Volcanic Rave, Meteo Fall. I guess that's a new ability, right? Cyclone Napalm. Mm, so it's just like a single target fire ability that's a little bit better. Arc Prominence. What, what, what is that ability in like uh, My Hero Academia? Like Prominence Blast or whatever from Endeavor? Master Lee, Happy New Year! How's it going? Welcome, welcome to the first stream of 2023. This, this is going to be a great year. I think it makes sense that water attack magic is weaker as water element is geared more towards healing. Yeah, I guess that's right. True. It'd be kind of messed up if it was like strong in the sense of like offensive and and you can heal yourself at the same time. That would that would be kind of messed up. I definitely think water like a uh, fire is a little bit too weak though, or it was a little too weak. I don't know if it's still weak. I think the fact that it only does attack offensive things and it was this weak was kind of like messed up. Um, is there less wind abilities? Oh no, there's more wind right here. Sylvan Guard. Ariel. <laughs> Lightning, Arrow Storm. See, I wish Sylvan Guard, you could, I wish there was like an AOE Sylvan Guard, but there isn't. Grand Stream. Looks like it hit everything. There seems to be like a hit everything ability on every single element now. Hmm. Ragnablast, I like the name of that ability. Sobler, Clock Up, Anticept, Hellgate, Shadow Spear. 40 EP now. KO 20% chance still. White Kahana. it out. Did they buff White Kahana? They buffed White Kahana? But why? 
60 EP, faint 20%, all range? Yo. No, no, no. Look, Cocktic. Look, look, look. So in order to get an all range water ability, you need to have all of this shit. Or to get an all range fire ability, you need to have all of that shit. Right? All range, like, wind ability, you need to have all that, and then Waikahana there. It's harder to get- are you sure it's harder to get? I'm seeing 10-4-4-4 right now. And I'm seeing 60 EP when you cast it, with a faint 20% chance. Are you sure it's balanced? I don't think it's balanced, I think it's broken. Get out. Get out. Yo. Orbal down. oh my gosh. Don't tell me. So you can orbal down someone. Oh my gosh. Why would they do this? So wait. You can orbal down everyone. You mute them and you reduce their, their ability defense by 30%. So you debuff everyone. And it's at all range. So you hit everyone on the map. And then you spam Waikahana as their, de as their ability defense is down. So you're doing more damage with Waikahana now. So screwed. So screwed. Death Scream all. Oh, oh my gosh. Never mind. There's a stronger ability. Never mind. Abyssal. Oh my gosh. I don't know how a well, large area is pretty much hitting everyone anyways, right? This is crazy. Oh! That's cool. They have new... They do have new stuff. That's more. I'm having a great time. I'm just happy today. Uh, Dark Matter, single attack, 40 EP. So this is like a new ability. A Crest. Oh, ability... De oh, ability defense. Okay. So I'm guessing they actually finally separated ability defense from, like, the strength buffs and whatnot. So I'm guessing, like, Saint probably won't increase the damage of your arts anymore. Which means, how do you even buff people up to do more arts damage? I wonder if that e is even possible anymore. Outside of just having the quartz for it. Los Mobius, medium range, attack 100 EP. Hmm. So they got Saint, single. We have Law Saint, maybe? No. We have Silver, confused 90% chance. Silverthorn looks broken. Yeah, Silverthorn looks real nice. Because I remember Confuse was kind of OP. But is that the only way to Confuse now, actually? No, we still have Chaos Brand. We still have Chaos Brand. And Chaos Brand's still 100%, but I think Silver Throne is better. 240 EP. And it's only 90 EP to cast Silver Throne. That's crazy. Zodiac. Oh, no. Zodiac is basically like Saint, but hitting everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. That's cool. That's really cool. Silent Cross prevents arts and crafts. What does that even mean? Support prevents arts and crafts. I am confused by that, actually. Like, does it just make someone not able to do anything? Except for regular attack, probably. But it hits everyone. I think that's what it does. Okay, let's look at the quartz, though. Is this guy's second chapter? Yes, this is guy's second chapter. Clock down is amazing. Oh, wait, we got clock down, didn't we? Wait, clock down. Oh, yeah, clock down. I didn't even notice it. Minus 50% speed, and it's a medium area, so you can hit multiple people. That's nice, actually. That's better than clock up. Strength buff does not buff arts now. There are no ATS buffs in this game. Mm, got a lot of experimenting to do. I think Silent Cross is an impede art. Got it. It's like an impede, but you do... You hit art and crafts at the same time. I'm happy in general today. And because of playing this game. You know, overpowered arts too. Like everything. Life is good. Uh, HP. Oh, they kind of nerfed the HP buffs. And the EP buffs. Yeah, they kind of got rid of every- Oh, they made the defense debuffs lower, right? Oh, you now when you get defense up, you're using losing strength too? What? 
kind of whack. EP4 looks insane, though, the amount of different things you get from it. Well, you still get ATS from Mind 4, so that's good. <sighs> Jilt 4, ADF plus 75? Oof. Evade is still good. Ew. Why would they make hit also ma make your agility lower, so then you're guaranteed to get hit? I don't get that, but okay. I've never really used move. I never thought that was that good. We're definitely using action on everyone. Ooh, action four, you loot, you get move minus one? That's gross, but we're still getting act speed plus 40%. Impede four got heavily nerfed. I, I, I kind of agree with that nerf. I agree with Impede four getting nerfed. I think it was stupid having an 80% um, chance of, well, in P3, you had an 80% chance of blocking arts. I think that was kind of stupid because it made your physical attacker able to just like essentially have like impede without having to use arts or anything for it. Or arts or caps or anything specific for it. Did they nerf EP cut? I think they did. Yeah, they nerfed EP cut, but I think it's kind of the same. I remember it was like, what, minus 50% for EP cut 3? But it's not really a nerf because you get a higher quartz value in total. Is there a cast 3 or just cast 2? Yeah, there doesn't need to be a cast. Cast 2 is good enough, right? Any new one of these? Oh, no, there's just a version 2 of them all. Instead of 10% chance, you get a 20% chance now. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, death. 20% chance to kill an enemy. That's cool. I like range. There's no range 2, though. Information. I always like information. Scent. Eagle Eye. Haze. Cloak. We do know that Cloak is, like, better than everything else. But I don't even know if you can get that stuff as early anymore. Heal. Heal. I remember Heal being pretty good because it allowed you to hit over into uh, time a lot easier with water. But I don't know if that's going to be the case with these high value quartz anymore. Because like, some of these quartz give an 8. That's crazy. Not Rag, how's it going? In level 2. Wow, whoa, whoa. Everyone here. You guys hear about the update in Trolls from Zero that have auto text advance? What's auto text advance? Like it just automatically starts the, the text? I don't like that. I like being able to read at my own pace. Like this, I'm loving the new game. I mean, I haven't even done any combat yet, though. Legend's second chapter is the only series that I didn't play on Nightmare. I suffered enough on Sky 1. <sighs> uh, I like abuse. I'm, what can I say? What can I say? I don't feel like I've truly suffered on Sky 1, though, okay? I feel like at the beginning of the game, I suffered on Sky 1, but toward the end of the game, I was just, like, flawlessly winning. Septium Vein. Increased Sebbets dropped by Monsters. Huh. Heaven's Eye. Combine Ego Eye and Information? What? Yin Yang. Combine Haze and Information. What? Absorb. Recover HP when defeating an enemy. Recover in EP while walking. Ingenuity seems really good. Increases enemy item drop rate. Luck seems really good too. Yeah, Absorb seems super good. But actually, it doesn't seem that... Actually, no, it doesn't seem that good. Seems okay. I think Ingenuity seems really good, though. In between fights. I wonder if it only is for the person that has it equipped or everyone. Probably everyone. That's how these normally they normally work, right? 
Yeah, Heaven seems good. Heaven's Eye seems really good. Actually, both of them seem... Yin Yang and Heaven's Eye seem really good. I like them. Um, kind of know all this stuff, right? Yeah, we, we kind of know all this stuff. Yeah, now we have seven slots, so we can see it now. This is, seems to all be the same so far. Chains? What's a chain, actually? We, this is new. Chain crafts. Uh, are you playing blind? Like, are you not spoiled? Yes, I'm playing, uh... I am playing blind. Uh, typically what that means for, like, giving advice on anything is, like, um... No story spoilers for sure. Uh, I like figuring out gameplay, like how to beat fights and stuff, because my myself, I don't like being told uh, what to equip and how to play like optimally. I like figuring out all that stuff myself. Um, there's a big reason why I'm playing on Nightmare is so I can, you know, get my face wrecked for like 20 hours straight, and then I can be like, okay, I figured it out myself kind of thing. So I generally don't like gameplay advice. Um, I am okay if there's something that like I'm missing in regards to a hidden item or like a hidden um like like the Cornelia books in the first game things that like would be super super hard for someone who's playing the game for the first time to actually realize is a thing if you told me something like that like hey you need to talk to this one guy in between these two cuts or in between these two chat sequences otherwise you're going to completely miss out on this item or like hey maybe you should go check out the uh this tetrasilic tower before you move on to the next part of this game because you're going to completely miss out on this side quest or this hidden side quest kind of thing i don't mind that though like those kind of things um but generally like any story spoilers or any like uh any specifically like how to play the game stuff i don't really like Um, in Sky 1, I got wrecked so hard in this beginning by the stupid sheep, and of course... Oh! What, 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 what sheep in Sky 1? I do remember the beginning was really hard, though. I will say that. Because you, because you didn't have access to anybody, right? It was much harder. Uh, Chaincraft is a skill characters can perform together. Two to four characters can team up to perform the skill. The more that participate, the greater the attack range. Strike has to be within range of all characters... Performing the chain craft, equipping weapons or accessories that improve attack range will broaden the range of the chain craft. So basically, you can attack together with other people, and you can attack with everyone together if you wanted to. And you use CP depending on how many people you have, and then the attack range increases and the amount of uh, attack power also increases depending on the amount of people that are attacking together. Okay, cool. I'm gonna have to use it though to really understand it, but I do think it's cool. The critical... Cool. We kind of know all the... Yeah, we kind of know all this stuff, don't we? Wait, is there something new here? Actually, there are new things here. Focus attacks on... Oh, okay, immune... Morph is new. Cha uh, changes character size and such lower stats. Wears off. Okay. Suspended is new too. Can character cannot be selected or act. Killed instantly. Insta-death. Oof. That's tough. Art guard immune to arts. Craft guard immune to crafts. Huh. So I'm guessing... That's, that's cool. I didn't see any abilities that give us that though, so maybe it's something that you get with your extra characters or something. It's like a craft that you get with your characters. Sweet. Sweet. Cooking. Pretty much probably is going to be the same. Oh, there's fishing. Water sides with ripples can be fish. Finally! I hated how you couldn't actually fish in the first game. They just teased you about Valyria Lake and then told you there's like this big creature in there that you never could fish. All right. Score given by Bracer Guild. When a drop has been completed, when the total BP reaches a fixed amount, the Bracer level will increase and a special item will be rewarded. So we can actually see the items now. 
Silver Chain, Absorb, Sibith's Vein. Cool. A's, Gladiator Belt. Recover CP during battle. See, that right there, that's what we need. We need, we need a Gladiator Belt. What about the other Gladiator item that we had before? We need, we need to redo the whole entire thing that we were doing with uh, Chloe again. Yeah, I'm not going to focus too hard on reading those right now, though. Parameters and towns. Cool. Wait, are, wait, was there any new places in towns? No, all the places are still the same. Cool! Awesome, we read everything. We're ready. <laughs> you should go experiment! Uh, yeah, Kazi, I'm sorry. I like to really read, so, like, everything. To fully try to grasp it before we start. Yes, I did notice. I actually read through it too, not reg. Glider belt and glider to headband. That's what it was. It was a headband I wasn't thinking of. It looks like you two picked up the new model combat ornaments. Did you already go over the list of new quartz in your notebooks? The fundamentals aren't much different, but some things have had their attributes adjusted in the switch, so give it a look. Now, before we get started, how about a quick overview? If you need a refresher on anything about how your ornaments work, ask away. Don't think I really need it. Wait, upgrading slots? All right, one of the new tricks with this new model combat ornament is slot upgrading. A lot of the higher end quartz for these new things are stupidly potent, but there's a catch. That kind of circuitry is going to require adjustments and upgrades to your slots before you can use it properly. Good news is, the upgrade will also increase the maximum EP charge your ornament can hold. You need Sebit to do it, but it's worth it, trust me. Okay. So you can, I guess you can actually upgrade slots. So we have all slots open, but we can upgrade them. Okay, you've listened to me ramble on long enough. Let's make some quartz and get you over to Kurt. You want my advice? You should make sure you can use some healing arts at the very least. Do you know what kind of quartz are required for healing arts? Yeah, I do. Your bracer notebook will have a full list of arts and their requirements. Make sure to check it. Cool. Um, Upgrade. Let's see what these slots are. So yeah, you can rate laser to level 2. Ha! I am not doing that. I am not messing up right now. Oh, I do need to check. Okay, what items do I have, though? Because I already have some, don't I? No, I don't have any quartz right now. Okay, but do I have any equipment right now? Yes, I have these. Fully revives bear bearer after KO one time, but breaks afterwards. Oof. I don't want to use that just yet. I got to save that. I like the glove gear. That's way better than my old gear. Used to be. Cool. Um... These are what I can buy. Prevents poison. Tear bomb. Oh, tear is way better now. It's 800 health. I don't have much money, though. I'll buy one of these just in case. I feel like this game might try to do something to me where they make it so you can get poisoned early on. Like, why else would they put this in here? I got I got to make sure that I'm, I'm prepared just in case. Um, quartz. Yeah, let's just make everything, right? I think we have enough. Oh, we can't make impede one, though. That's 100. This is action one or EP cut, right? Ugh. The EP cut gives you a lot more stuff, doesn't it? But then I get, oh, but then I can get Mirage as well, right? I think Action 1 is more worth it. Yeah, EP Cut's cool because it gives you so many things, but like... Yeah. You check your old quest, it's not useful at all. <laughs> yeah, I, d I d was looking at that. There will always be a black marker forever for this game for me. And it's right here. This quest, I'll always know that I fucked up. The so Kurt's going to be worth working you to the bone again, is he? Here then, let me show you how to prepare some nice clean water for yourself out in the field. We got a recipe book, learn nature's bounty recipe. Oh, don't forget the ingredients, dears. Cool, that was nice. 
It's like we can just throw this stuff in a pot to cook up a meal, right? Well, yes, what you have will cover most basic cooking, but you can only get some ingredients by defeating monsters. Gathering all the ingredients for those is a bit dangerous, needless to say. Yeah, tell me about it. There are some weird recipes out there. Man, kind of takes those who don't work, don't eat, to a whole new level, huh? Brace the Notebook will have a more detailed explanation of cooking. Make sure to look it over. Well, good luck with your training. Thanks, Phyllis. We'll try not to burn anything down when we cook stuff. Learning recipes by eating meals at bars or by eating to-go food items you purchase or find. Once you learn a recipe, you can make the food item anytime, so long as you have the ingredients by opening a recipe book. To open your recipe book, select the items tab from the camp menu and then select the recipe book under the book category. Cool. Can we just talk to her? We can say make sure you have a mill and rest a bit. I know you're big, tough bracers and it's good to push yourselves, but overdoing it's no good either. Shop. What do you have? Whew! So I already have this recipe. I probably don't need to buy the item then. But I don't have this one. I don't have much money though. I really don't have much money. Okay, let's see if we, what, what we can equip. So we have ornaments. I only have enough ornaments. I don't have any ornaments. Like at all. What? Like what am I supposed to do with this? It's like nothing. A red F. <laughs> so sad. So we know she's she's she has to equip wind, right? It's not like I don't even have anything now. Sylvan wing. Is there any way that like is there any way I can like give some kind of ability here though? Who has higher strength between the two of them? She does. Even though she doesn't even have like better equipment, she still has higher strength. That's weird. Clock up and so blur. Let's go ahead and give her action. Let's go ahead and give her defense. She has evade already. Give her defense so she's even more tanky. Hmm. Yeah, we can give her attack. We can give her hit. I don't think there's anything you can actually make. So this basically just gives her stone hammer, a wind attack, wind, yeah, wind movement, I guess. Like... She's just a slightly more defensive, so I probably want to go ahead and set her to being like a little bit further up than Estelle. And Estelle probably has a bit more, um, whatchamacallit. Yeah, Estelle also has Comet though, doesn't she? So she probably is better right there. We can just do like this for now. We can even put them back one. Yeah, we, 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 don't, we don't even have Stone Guard. Why am I putting, yeah, Estelle can stay right there. I'll just put her in front so she can take more hits. I think this is good. This is what I want. Uh, tactics. Um, save. Okay. I think we're good. I think that's all That's all we really can do. There's not nothing more here. Oh! There's crafting stuff, though. Ooh. Nature's Bounty. A refreshing soda infused with extract of scented grasses. That's all I have. But I can craft two of them right now. Cool. But I can buy more clear gelatin to make more. That's literally all I can make right now is that. Or, wait, can you even buy clear gelatin? I think you can only get it from defeating things, yeah. Oh, it's so, it's so messed up that I lost everything. Okay, let's read about a little bit from the liberal news. It's only five pages right now. Would you eat the monsters if you lived in the Trails universe? Probably. I mean, isn't that kind of like real life? 
That's kind of what we do with animals. Two months since the coup d'etat. It's been two months since the stunning fall of the royal army's once promising intelligence division and their failed coup d'etat. Currently in response to their failure to prevent the rebellion by one of their own divisions, the army is undergoing a major reconstruction of their internal organization to find how they intend to uh, regain the trust of the public. We got a behind the scenes look at their reconstruction efforts. Under the command of General Morgan, the, the reformation of all rural army units have been proceeding swiftly. However, even our decorated general acknowledges that rebuilding the chain of command will take some time. The cause, we're told from an army source, that is that the ID units reach had permeated all levels of command and removing that influence has uh, proved to be quite the task. The Royal Army is determined to continue reforming whatever difficulties may arise. One such issue they face is lack of transparency. For national defense reasons, the organization of the military has been heavily guarded, but it was this very policy that allowed the ID unit to get as far as they did. One effort to blow fresh air into the rigid army structure is the recent co cooperation with the Bracer Guild. How much further the Royal Army can open up and so maintain the secrecy needed for the security, though, is probably the biggest hurdle facing the rebuilding of the army. What if this is uh, Nile writing this? According to the reports in the, the wait, the Queen's peace proposal. Oh, okay. According to reports in the Foreign Affairs section, the Arabonia Empire, Calvard Republic, and Liberal Kingdom have all agreed to enter into a treaty of non-aggression. Reparations are already underway to host the signing of the pact following the Royal Parliament's approval of the terms proposed by Queen Alicia. Will this pact be the guiding light to peace between nations? Jordan Morgan to resign? Why would he resign? A change at the top of the army ranks seems in the air as Chief of Staff General Morgan indicated in a recent meeting that he would yield the reconstruction of the army to someone else. Science also suggests that he will resign from the top post entirely once the army organization has complete. Eyes are on Cassius Bright, the general's right-hand man, to take up the reins. We'll be keeping close tabs on any further developments. I, for some reason, I thought General Morgan was, like, going to stay up there. Like, I didn't think that he would just resign. That's so weird. Wait, your items didn't... I know they didn't. They didn't. My items did not carry over. He's getting old. I guess. A little bit, but... It just seemed like, um... In the previous game, like, he had just taken up the position, and it was, like, more of that he was, like, asking Cassius to join him. Less so that he was, like... So old that he was gonna kill over. Okay, there's Kurt. So you've had your new quartz, manufactured and repaired healing arts. Very good. Now we can set off. Finally. We're heading for the sewer-like thingy in the western part of the canyon, right? Indeed, the Valstar Channel. As I said before, the monsters within are dangerous. Are you two prepared? We spent some time in this training facility. Estelle just wasted all your items. More so, Natreg, I think Joshua stole all my items. He was the last member in my party. He's the only one that could have done it. So I think it's, I, I think Joshua jacked all my items when he left. Sweet God, it's not yet. We're ready. Oh, we're about to get wrecked. Very well, let's get going. Follow me, you two. Okay. Right behind you, boss. General Morgan might retire peaceably having Cassius as his successor. But Cassius doesn't even really want to be in the military. He's just doing it for... Uh, he's literally just doing it for... Um, General Morgan. And for... Liberal, right? Why can't we just travel, like, walk down? Why, why are they doing this to me? Oh, there's a healing point. That's good. Maybe I need to farm here, though. So this is the Ballstar Channel. Man, these sewers are huge. What do they keep d down here? Well, they're technically smaller than the sewers beneath Gransel, but they're still quite sizable. As for what is kept down here, try confidential documents. Your practice mission today is to retrieve them. Wait, confidential stuff? Seriously? Aha, well, it's more to get you in the mood than anything else. Regardless, documents are in the deepest section of the sewers. Recover them and today's practice will be complete. Well, you make it sound easy, but this is a training mission, so you've made sure it isn't easy. Be that. <laughs> it isn't going to be that easy, right? I should leave that to you, your doubtless fertile imaginations. I will warn you, however, the monsters in the channel are not to be underestimated. You may find it necessary to fully master chain crafts to defeat them. Chain crafts, right? Those are the, uh... You mean the team-based attacks we got special training for, right? Indeed. Fundamentally, it is a type of craft which allows several people to attack a target simultaneously. 
You put a great deal of effort into learning them, so now you should put theory into practice. Sounds like a plan. Uh, also, since you'll be fighting once again, let me fried you with this. I got a monster guide. It's one of those monster guide thingies, right? Correct. It's a notebook for recording information about any foes you might come to face. But advise nothing down, noting down any particulars about your enemies to find them. Keeping tabs on the enemy is how you win fights, I guess. Yeah, they say some, knowing your enemy is the first key to victory, or is it uh, know yourself first? Uh, either way, thanks, Kurt. We really owe you. Really, there's no need to thank me. I wish you two the best of luck. As one last note, if I may, don't force yourself to go on if you are injured. I've prepared an orbment charging station here, just in case. Use it as you see fit. Yep, that's our Kurt, all right. Always planning for everything. Well, no excuses now. Time to blow the lid off the pot of expectations. All right, let's get to, to it. Who's going to stand here? Something wrong, you two. If you need a moment to rest, you can use the orbit charging station over there. Are we able to head back, though? If I wanted to. Always a sewer level, right? It's so nostalgic. It's like the beginning of the game last time. Oh, so we can, so we totally can, like, go back out if we wanted to. They don't call him the Black Plank for nothing. Wow. Ah, oh, yes, finally catching one of these lives. Welcome, welcome, Ball. Happy that you're here. Um, what is that thing? Oh, I can't sneak by it. Monsters are ready? That was quick. I'll say, this will be perfect for a warm-up, though. Oh yeah, this is our first real fight in a while, isn't it? Might be worth it to go over the basis of fighting again. Well, how about it, Estelle? Want to go everything again or skip straight to the uh, practical stuff? Let's just do chain crafts. Like, I just played the game, right? I just want chain crafts. Can we skip straight to the practical stuff? I kind of want to try out these chain crafts we've been practicing. I have music to my ears. All right, then let's plow through these critters double time. Right. Wait. Hold up. Did we just skip all the fights? Well, so much for the monsters, but this kind of looks like the end of the path. Yeah, it looks like all though. Hey, Estelle, think we can finally give it a shot? Uh, it? Oh, you mean a chain craft, right. <laughs> yeah, well, we did put a lot of sweat into learning these new chain craft attacks, you know? Say we try them out in a real fight, and get a feel for how they work in practice. Works for me, come on. Right, just say when. Ooh, these guys look weird. Time for Analyst. Go Dude, Analyst is awesome. I'm so happy that we can actually play with her. The first time I saw Analyst, he, like, you know, definitely stood out. I always do the basic tutorial seems stupid they skip all those fights. Hopefully I didn't miss out on any items. That was a lot of, like, I feel like a lot of fights were missed. Chain crafts are a technique that allow multiple characters to attack in unison. Okay, chain one. Up to two people charge forth and deal damage. So does this mean only her CP is used for it then? We've got morale, strength plus 20%. I'm guessing morale does not boost art damage now. Hard break. Cool. Alright, let's try it. To use a train craft, select the party and members to join in and then attack a, a target. Okay. Minimum level of CP is required to participate. Necessary CP and maximum participants possible are displayed in the 30 in the upper left. The more participants, the greater the attack range. Characters further back in the combination attack will also have a greater attack power. Okay. So I want to chain with Annalise. And then let's go ahead and use it against the two ones in the front because that's the only ones we can hit with these. Looks like they're weak against fire as well. So let's see, is it going to actually use Annalise's turn, and is it going to use 30 CP with Annalise too? So yeah, it uses CP with both people. But it does attack with both people, and it uses both their turns as well. So I guess if you're going to use like a basic attack, it's worth it, right? Otherwise, it seems kind of wasteful, maybe? Oh, and it does a little tiny AoE, so that's probably also why it's worth it. Dang, wh where's my health? That It's gone. My health is gone. That's crazy. This is against fire. Oh, I want to see her crafts. I've never seen her crafts before. 
So that's the enemy with the chaotic sword strikes. A high speed sword technique that creates a vacuum blade. Kicks fall. Oh, attack delay would have been nice. Lose a sacrifice defense for offense. Strength plus 50% and defense minus 30. Ooh. And this is only on the self. I'm not going to use this on her, though. She's just going to get one shot if I use it. So this is a small attack, but it actually hits everyone. I'm guessing this attack is probably stronger, so let's use this attack. I want to I just see how, how it looks. So cool! Oh god, yeah, that fire one-shot. Oh my gosh! I'm dying. Okay, yeah, I'm getting a lot more experience than she is. Clear gelatin, okay. Getting uh, getting that at least. Piece of cake. Alright, while we're at it. What's up, Estelle? Well, the monster guide. Best to record what we learned as soon as possible after the fight, right? Oh yeah, good thinking. I was uh, totally gonna suggest that. Just give me a second, I'll write this up real quick. Confident penciling. <laughs> okay, got it all down. Information about enemies fought will be automatically recorded in your monster guide. Note that recorded information may change depending on whether you are victorious or flee from battle. Sweet. Gosh, I have no... Oh my gosh. Ooh, I got like no EP though. Okay, how much does this actually heal, I wonder? See, I told you she was good. Uses more CP for each attacker you add. AoE also gets better with each participant, which can be nice. Oh yeah, that's right, because it said plus one, plus one, plus one, right? It can be like really, really big. It can be really big. Okay, got it. Mm. So Tyr does heals a thousand now. That's nice. That's really nice. Oh wait, can't I just run back? Don't want to forget this. I can just run back after every fight. Oh, what, what if the enemies respawn, though? Okay, good, they don't. Okay, good, they don't. I'd have been sad if they did. <laughs> Some of the eight least one blade school. Is that actually a school name? What is this? Hmm. No! Oh, I got surprise attack! I'm gonna die already! I'M GONNA DIE ALREADY! Wow! They hit hard! Holy shit! Actually, holy shit! Wow! That was actually crazy! So note to self, don't get surprised attack. <laughs> There's a lever here that can be moved. Uh, I don't know what to do. Let's just flip right. If that connects those ones. Okay, but what... There's a lever here that can be moved. Let, okay, return to original position. I'm actually going to go ahead and close this and flip it left, because I don't know if I need to go that way first. I'm so confused. Does it matter? Which way, then? Does it really matter? Okay, this time it's only one enemy now? Why is it only one enemy now? I'm so confused. Before I got like... You know, mobbed by three when I got surprise attack and then when I go for the attack, it like, there's only one? Flip to the right. Okay. Oh, I, is there a map for this place? No, there's no map for this place. Dang it. Oh, I should save after I did that fight, shouldn't I? What's in here? Okay. Lever here that can be moved. Drop lever. Oh, 
suffering for it. Didn't help that one of them got a crit turn. That could be part of it. But they still hit, hit hard. They hit real hard. Depp and Sword Innocent, they kind of have a big deal in the Trell series. And the Eight Leafs One Blade School is a big deal in the Trell series. It sounds like something from Naruto. It says, glad to see you streaming. Slept in a day because of my day off. Oh, that's right. Because they're... Okay. I actually did not know that there was a Christmas Day Observed and New Year's Day Observed until this year. I never knew that that was a thing. But I guess it is. So from, from this moment forth, I, I now know that uh, everyone decided that we needed an, an extra holiday added on to Christmas and New Year's. Okay, let me just attack head on with these people. Okay, so this right here, I could have ticked each one of these separately, right? Or what I could do is chain. And chain. Oh no, I can't hit them though. I can't hit them. I can't hit them both. So it's not even gonna work. So what I could do instead, is since I know it's not gonna work, is I could attack delay one of them. Let's attack delay... Which one is the first one? I'm gonna attack delay this one. And then craft... Oh, dang it, it's not gonna work. Not gonna work. Whatever. Oh, shit! Can I attack delay again? Hmm, if only I could attack delay again. Ah, oh, if only I could attack delay again. But I can't, it's whatever. Oh, that kind of hurt. I was really hoping that I could. Oh, actually, if I chained, I probably wouldn't have worked, so those things are super defensive, it looked like. So I don't think chaining would have worked there. Just because of how defensive they look to be. It's always been like that. That's how people get holiday pay and still spend time with family. This Friday we celebrate the Wiseman Day. I think that's not common in other countries. What's Wiseman Day? Huh? I'm in water now. Um. Oh, there's froggies in water. Oh, there's a chest. Press it. It seems like it won't work. Okay. There's a chest over here though. I should definitely get that. Okay, here we go. Knew it. Oh, fuck. I'm screwed. Oh, I'm screwed. Oh, I am so screwed. Oh, I am beyond screwed. I don't think I could beat this fight if I want to right now. Like, I'm- let me just keep fighting this fight, and hopefully I get one where I can hit multiple or something. I don't even know how I would beat this fight, though. Holy cow. Okay, I'm not gonna do that, actually. So let's see. Like, even if I did do this, I'd still lose, right? Even if I do chain, I still lose. But, ooh, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have a better idea. Hmm. But does it mess up her turn? It's gonna mess up her hill turn regardless, right? I have an idea. We hill? We do, uh, chain crafts, right? Together. Nah, it didn't work. That didn't work. That didn't work. I, I'm taking too much damage. I'm taking too much damage. How would I even do- How would I even do this? I just I gotta take out one of these guys, don't I? Oh, I can't even take him down! He's too tanky for that.
Yeah, I, I don't... How would you even do this fight? I got no idea. Like, fire seems to be the best thing in this game right now. Yeah, I have no idea how to beat this fight. I don't think I can. I literally don't think I can beat this fight if I wanted to. I think what I need... Actually, okay, I have an idea. I think I need to farm. I need to farm. Because... I can collect Sibith from these fights, right? And I can still go back to the, um... Yeah, I can collect Sibith from these fights. And I can still go back to the, the inn to, to make uh, more items, right? So, I probably just want to explore this place. And as I get the... You know, I, I can understand the layout from just running around here. And then one, once I get the chance to, I can just... Uh, you know, formulate things in the future for it. Uh, let's go fire. Because, you know, I can give Annalise a fire one of these eventually. Just, I just can't give it to her yet. Ooh, another one. What? They can call it allies? Oh yeah, I don't have anything. I can't read what they can do yet. That's why I can't see that. Yeah, because right now, see, I already have 20 water, so, like, I can already make an extra water one for, for Annalise. I don't know what gives me Fire Sippet, though. I need to figure out what that one is. But I'm also getting some items right now, too, that can uh, give me more, you know, healing items and whatnot. Actually, I wonder if I switch the other switch to the left, if I can actually, uh... Flip that one down. Um, let's use... I don't need to use combat, I can just use regular attack, can't I? Yeah, just use regular attacks here. Also, having full CP probably would also help with that fight. I do need to find something that gives me water. Or fire, sorry. <laughs> Try to kill me from behind. Good thing I don't have that, that many characters yet. Reviving Bomb, cool. EP Charge, cool. Not gonna use any of these items. I really wanna save my items right now. You open the chest to the familiar side of nothing. Oh, how you've been missed this. Oh, I have missed this. Farming, I love farming. Turbo Mode Cut, Analysis Victory Quo. Oh. I'm gonna, I, I, I can listen to it next time. Oh, sure, just take it. My name's Sifin, by the way. I bet asking my name never even crossed your mind, did it? No, it didn't. Nothing in the chest, nothing. Now, shoo shoo. Um. Gosh, I wish I could actually chain, though. Like. Problem is, is, I can't actually hit them all, so it doesn't make any sense to chain right now. But. These things hit harder, so let me go ahead and hit this. Oh my gosh! Um, well then. She got wrecked. I gotta run back to the start. She got literally wrecked right there. No! Oh no! I didn't save after she got wrecked, did, did, did I? I don't think I saved after she got wrecked. Well, at least we get to go again. Hey, this time it works out better, actually. Cool. Um, what, what, what we can do is craft, chain... Huh. 
Oh wait, how did they go twice? Oh, get out. How did you not die? I'm not getting any fire, though. Now we're just gonna run back to the start. Turbo's dangerous in this game, too. You can skip events with it. I was just about to ask about that. Yeah, Turbo's always dangerous, isn't it? I feel like that's why I, I kind of screw myself up with Turbo some of the time. But also, I kind of feel like if I didn't use Turbo, what in the world? This game, like, they run at you now in this game. They didn't do that before. The moment they see you, they just book it straight at you. I also feel like it would just take me longer to beat the game regardless, like, right? If I didn't use turbo. Like, the dying every now and again because I mess up because of turbo is probably worth it. Oh, because running into things because of turbo? I guess, yeah, you're, you're right. Um, I wanted to flip that switch to the other side, but also I don't think I need to fight more of these things. Come on now. Really? Again? Oh, I can actually use Comet? No, I can't use Comet here. Oh my gosh. They hit so hard. They literally hit so hard. I can't attack delay them either. Don't hit her again. You hit her again. You hit her again. Stop killing Estelle! Marty, 21 saves in. Okay, move. Thank you. Does he no longer have the Haze Quartz? Yeah, that'd be- it'd be helpful if I had it back. Okay, was it over here was the switch? Yeah. I'm gonna switch this over to the left, actually. Does it not make a difference which way you switch it? All I remember is that when I had it switched to the right, there was something over here that I could switch. Oh, is this raising the water level? What? Ah, uh, wait, I raised the water level. What does raising the water level do? Oh, I can't go now. Okay. Hmm. So you have to drop this lever to lower the water level. And the other level, I can't switch for some reason. And I don't know why I can't switch the other level lever. Like this one. Because it's rusted and it doesn't work. Hmm. Okay, let's just run this way, I guess. Let's go back. I don't know. Okay. So I need to switch this over to the left to go to the left, I guess. Let's switch it over to the left. I'm gonna go back for that chest later. Once I collect all the Sibith I need from this place, I want to try to find some enemies I can drop fire Sibith so I can get another fire. Unless this game is smart and they do something so that I never can get fire Sibith, which is a possibility. They could do that to me. They could just try to stop me from getting fire because they know that I need it to do more damage against these type of enemies. That's cool. This is what your curiosity gets you. Cool. Pure bomb. 
EP charge. Cool. But there's nothing in here. Boo ring. Small spider skitters from one side of the empty chest to the other side. Other. Oh, it's actually kind of cute. Oh. Uh, ornaments. This is mind one. So ATS is up. Gives you one water. Is there anything two water even gives me in this game? If I do put two water on someone? I can get Curia. I can get La Tier. La Tier actually would be so Super nice to have. Actually super nice to have. But in order to get Lautier, I would have had to buy the other thing, wouldn't I have? I would have had to buy EP Cut. Dang. That's crazy. So actually buying Action 1 screwed me. Because I needed to get... EP Cut. In order to be able to do Lautier. And now, I don't even have close to enough Sibith for EP Cut, do I? What's my... How much Sibith do you need for EP Cut? I was missing some Sibith for EP Cut, I was? Oh, okay. Maybe I can... What, what do you need for EP Cut? You need time? Maybe I'm getting the Sibith I would need for it right now, though. Space Sibith, I think? Okay. So maybe I just need to farm up some more Space Sibith and whatnot, and then I can just buy EP Cut. And that, lo that would allow me to get Law Tier, which killing two people for a thousand, when that's like basically half my health, that, that'd be awesome, actually. That'd be really awesome to have. Um, but I still want to see if there's any enemies around here that can drop fire for me. It just seems like all the enemies are the same right now. Okay. This is just a chest over here. Pack one, that's good. Then you really like reading these messages, don't you? Oh, maybe I don't need to... Farm Sibith. What? That basically gave me the one I wanted, didn't it? Okay, then. Now I got attack one on her. So now we both can do fire abilities. Cool. Less tanky, though, but that's good. I don't know if there's like a combination of quartz that I could use right now. Oh, I'm going to switch this off to the other side, actually, just in case. Because I don't know if it's to the left, if it's going to do something different for me. Nope, it does the same thing regardless. Um... Are you rusted? Nah. So this drops the water again. This drops the water in a new location. Sweet. I'm not really seeing any new enemies though. I really am not. But now these guys are super easy to beat because I just do fire and I do fire. And, they, and then I win. It's super easy now. And these guys are also pretty easy because I just... Oh gosh, that hurt. But I just attack. And they're dead. Oh yeah. Sweet. It's not hard at all. Silver earring. You're opening me again. Hehe, <laughs> how naughty. Okay. I bought a silver earring earlier too. Dang. 
Mm, that's the way down, which we could go down, but I'm going to go this way instead. Mm, just going to flip it, whatever. <laughs> oh, whoa, what's up here? Huh? How do I get that? Oh, I run around. Oh, I want to hit that. Oh, I don't want to hit that either. Reviving bomb. Surprise cookie. Found a scrap of paper with a surprise cookie recipe written on it. Oh, you can find recipes now. Just straight up found a bunch of civeth. Can I help you? Oh, wait, you already helped yourself. Empty chest opens with a groan. I guess it's tired of being opened over and over. You open the chest, realize you already looted it, then angrily slam the lid back down. I like the new chest lines. I felt like the chest lines were getting, um, repetitive before. Or starting to become repetitive before. Here we go. Oh, can I hit two at once? Yeah. Cool. Oh my gosh, I was like, I'm about to get hit. Another chest, n another fight chest, isn't it? Um, I just want to look inside of it. I'm not actually planning on beating it. Yeah, there's the same fight chest too. I don't even know how I'm supposed to beat that, like, these chests. Even, even if I was to get all of the things I need, like, I don't think I can beat those chests right now. I might have to come back here later with more people. Like, that, that's just a lot of enemies to fight, you know? Like, I'm gonna try, but I don't think I can. Cheddar chest advertising for the low, low price of 900 mirror per month. Not gone this way yet. Split this. No, I don't think it matters which way you flip it. It always is the same thing. Ah, very good. You finally found your way down here. Who's that? Oh, don't tell me Kurt's the boss. K Kurt? Hang on a second. You were at the entrance. How'd you get here before us? To tell you the truth, there are a few secret passages through the channel. Or you worked your way down the main path. I simply came here directly. Oh man. Now all the hard work we put into beating those monsters and stuff feels like a waste. Thanks, Kurt. Anyway. Busy work aside. Isn't this as deep as the sewers go? This is the end of the line, right? Quite so. Your point? So, uh, the confidential documents are, um... <laughs> on him? What's with the... Oh man, I knew it. I knew it. I'm afraid my role in this exercise is that of an armed foreign inf infiltrator, here to steal the documents. As we have the same goal, my only option is to remove you by force. Wait, what? <laughs> the documents were just an excuse to get us here. The real point of the test is to have an unexpected battle during a mission, isn't it? Indeed, we'll spot it, Annalise. That being said, prepare yourselves. But what? I don't even want to fight this yet! Oh, get out. What, what does the surprise cookie do? Strength 500? Oh, get out! Okay, look. Oh, fuck, they're so far away. What does, what does it even do good on? I don't even know what... Fire! I don't know. Die! Fire, die. Yeah, I'm gonna need a farm for this guy. I wanna farm for this guy. Or, or, or I wanna go into the battle with full health. Like, I, I don't wanna just, like, run into him like this. Okay. Dang, I forgot to save after I grabbed the chest again. Dang it, it's... 
It's not that far away, though. It's like right next to here. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. And I think there was... Was there another chest over here that we didn't pick up? I don't... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there was this right here. Autosave would be better. True. I could have just loaded the autosave. So this right here is the location we need to go. Or the way that we need to go is right there. Okay. Well, let me go back to the beginning of this place. Really? This is, that was kind of stupid, to be honest. That they went before me. Okay, so we gotta go down this way. This way? Yeah, cool. So the other pathway to the right, I know, is not the right way. But also, I don't know if we can come back here later. Do you guys know, like, we, do, that we can come back here later or not to get those chests? I'm not sure if I should actually try to beat the chest yet, or if I should just far enough, farm up enough to get EP cut. And let me go check on how much EP cut is right now. You should get the chest now? Okay. Yeah. Well, let me go, um... What is her... Let's see. What's S breaks? Piercing wave gathers energy. Oh! That's good. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So what I'm thinking is I probably want to get piercing wave. So I want to get, like, full CP on Analyze or something like that, and then attack all the creatures and, like, blow them apart like they're nothing. And then, uh, they make it a lot easier. And Analyze also just has, like, an AoE attack anyways. And we have Comet as well, so I don't know. Like, maybe, maybe that's what we need to do. I just need to get- I just need to farm up everything. But let me go see how much EP cut is right now. Let's go back to the guild lodge and check it out. I doubt you can beat Kurt if you can't beat the- He didn't- he didn't seem like he had that much health though. I feel like the chests are a little harder. Are you going behind the monsters? I'm trying to, yes. If I'm not accidentally running into them, yes. Happy New Year! They, this is gonna be a great year, ain't it? Wait, what can I do, do? Do I even get stuff to be able to sell here? I don't think so. But I do. I probably can make more food now, can't I? Strength 500. Oh, it's like an attack cookie. You throw it at something and it blows up or something. I didn't know that was a thing. That's cool. Let's make another nature's bounty. Wait, how much do I need now? I need fresh herb. I need three fresh herb. I could probably buy fresh herb if I wanted to. Hmm. Oh, we can also upgrade slots and stuff. Oh, I, I got 10 fire. How did I... Oh, yeah, I got 10 fire from that one chest. But I don't think I can get more fire than 10. I really don't. I do not think I can get more fire than 10. So, EP cut. Ooh! Boom! That's what's up. We got EP cut now. That is what's up right there. That's exactly what we needed. So, who's actually... I feel... Honestly... To be completely honest here... Analyze feels stronger. Analyze feels stronger. Than Estelle. Like, I think I just think her abilities are a bit better, you know? Because she has the attack delay, she has the AoE attacks. She has the AoE as craft. So I feel like Estelle needs to be the uh the healer here out of the two of them. So let's actually get rid of this right here. And let's try to figure this out properly, right? Where's the middle slot, actually? I want to do EP cut here. Curia. Wait, how do I get... What am I missing? 
What am I missing? I thought I just needed two, and then I need two, and then I, then then I then I get the lot here. What's going on? Oh, I oh, yeah, I need win. That's right. Um, give me your win. Oh wait, no, she ha she needs to have one. Uh, can I buy her one? Yeah, cool. Can't buy impede. Cannot buy impede. But if I did get, if I could buy another impede, what would impede give me? Right now, in this, at this point in the game, Sylvan Guard would be good. Sylvan Guard seems like it would be super good. Certainly, like, I can't get Ariel, though. I don't think I could get Ariel. Yeah, I don't think I could get Ariel, but I think I could get Sylvan Guard. Because just using Sylvan Guard on one person would be pretty, uh, pretty good to be able to evade things. Dang, I'm gonna have to farm up a lot in this part of the game then. Like a lot, a lot. To get everything I need. Woo. Equip. Uh, let's go ordnance again. Invade. Law tier. Boom, look at that. I don't even think Anna Lace could get law tier if she wanted to, right? Yeah, Annalise couldn't even get La Tier if she wanted to. I need Impede right here for her. Actually, I, I want I want action on Estelle. Matter of fact, yeah, I, I do want action on Estelle. Yeah. So we have quartz on everyone now. Uh, we don't have water, any water left. I want to go ahead and give just... Yeah, I want a water just in case. I want Annalise. And I don't think it's really that important, but we're going to give her a water just for whatever reason. There we go. Just so she can have some tears for out of battle. Help heal. Other than that, like it kind of sucks that we can't upgrade our slots right now. Just because of how many fire we would need. And the fact that they made Annalise upgradable makes me think that you can also... Uh, like, she, she stays in the game as part of a party member. She's not just like this intro part as well. Hopefully. Hopefully it's that way. I'm gonna be sad if it's not. Okay. Um, so we saved. Uh, anything else I need to do here? I need to make some more food for natures. I need to make more food. Is there anything I can sell? No, I can sell Sibith, but I don't really want to sell Sibith yet. Okay. Alright guys, but to be completely honest, I actually need to head out right now because we're hitting about the 3 hour mark for the stream and uh, I need to go and uh, go climbing and my, my best friend's still here so we're gonna, we're gonna hang out. But I'll be back on tomorrow morning. But it'll be fun. Tomorrow I think what we'll do starting with the stream is we'll just farm up a bunch of Sibith to be completely honest. I feel like I need to get the Impede so I can get the Sylvan Guard, which will help out a little bit. I need to get another action for for uh, Annalise or for Estelle, just so I can have like more speed. And then I feel like once we get those things settled down, because we already have La Tier now, I can just heal in between the kill the first chance I get with with La Tier with Estelle when I open the chest, and then try to do AOEs with Annalise. Maybe use her uh, her S Break or whatever. For, for it, and then that should help me out. But I feel like I have an idea of how to beat the chest. I don't know if I have an idea of how to beat the, uh, how to beat the Kurt yet, because I haven't really fought him. But I want to beat those chests before we fight him, for sure. But thanks for hanging out. This has been a great, you know, first stream for the year. Um, and we'll be right back at it tomorrow. Tell your bestie I said hi. I will tell you just, I, I will tell her just that for you. Just for you, Master Lee. I'll be like, Master Lee said hi. Do, 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 do you remember Master Lee? 
See you all tomorrow then. See you tomorrow, Dark Samurai. All right. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Happy New Year's. Bye-bye. <laughs>